Welcome back to Winter Showdown 2024. Strive top eight. That's fucking cool. And it That's has been an interesting tournament. Oh, so has far it now? Already. Has it now? So Tell me more. I, have you heard the big upset? What is the big upset? Toasted Toad beat Pip 3 1 to get into top eight on loser side. There is no Pip in top eight. No Pip in top eight. Oh my Toast God. Toasted to Toad here. Toasted Toad, Johnny. Mm -hmm. On the Johnny. On the 3 jo 1. So no Pip. Pip was upset. I mean, I would be I upset. would be too. Pip's a great player. He is. And he got sent to losers he by Column. He got 3 0'd. Column recently got top, I think he got fifth at a TNS recently. That's actually pretty cool. And he's on the Happy Chaos again. He's yep. on winner's side. Winner's side and up against then, Volteon. Uh, and we got Volteon. Havoc, Noah, Haruko. Classic on matchup here. And then loser's Tons side, it. it's Yinja who knocked out Cobalt. Okay, so we have that. Okay, and so we have that. And then I think it's Toasted. Toasted, and, yeah, Yinja and Toasted then. And then Tavon, a player from out of state. Mm -hmm. I don't, I think it's Seattle, I want to say, but I could be wrong. A soul who had to beat Prince to get in. So Prince, no Prince in top eight. No Prince in top, wow. There's a yeah. couple of faces here that I would not have expected, but exactly. we've had a, it's been a big strive bracket. A lot of people mm. have been showing up for it. A couple of visitors here and there, yeah. but I mean, so many things to look at, so many storylines to be appreciating mm -hmm. here. And we're going to get all of this underway as soon as I actually get somebody to get up here to call match or something, because I have our top eight players. We have all the brackets set. So who is running my games? Please don't somebody. make me get up right now to call a match. Oh, maybe. It's been one of those days. Something like that. This is what you get for winning Dragon Ball, you know? Something karma like that. Is good here comes in Noah. Some ways, and then Karma is No one's taking coming ways. back. They had to make sure you yeah, yeah, all yeah, doing yeah. good. You just got to make sure to say that with a loud enough voice. Hit me with it. Losers first heard. Okay. Understood. Okay. We're going to take a little different approach uh, in running our matches in terms of the order, right? We're going to be starting off with the loser side of the bracket first. That way, the winners do not have to wait as long in between their sets, which Snake Fox is just going, what the hell is this? I can't believe it. Yeah, he does this. He does this. Let's do that. And Either way. See how it goes. It'll be we'll fine. It we'll it's get fine. through it. It'll be fun. I'm excited to see some of these players. Mm -hmm. I'm really excited to see, honestly, I'm excited to see Tavon because we don't get to see a lot of soul here in Colorado. True. No, and true. And I'm excited to see some, you know, some grabs just here and there. You would say it's a throw that is particularly wild? Yeah, just a little bit, you know, feel a little on the wild side, do a little craziness. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I think it's going to be interesting because we. Mm -hmm. I think the only character that's repeating here is Johnny. Two okay. Johnnies. Wow, yeah. Because, so. yeah, we would have Havoc Noah on Eno, Haruko on Johnny, I would assume. Uh, Volteon on the chip. Mm -hmm. Column on the Happy Chaos. No Elfeld. I do think uh, one thing um, Haruko was telling me earlier, mm -hmm. she was saying if she has to play Eno, like uh -huh. Eno or Chip, so basically no or Volteon, she was thinking of going Bridget. Okay. So she does have a bridge, and her bridge is quite, her bridge quite effective. Is quite good. I yeah, think no. uh, she knocked Volteon into losers once with it. Yep. And I played it the other week. It's a little scary. Indeed it is. Indeed it is. It makes you sit there and question yourself, like, when when does turn come? Will it ever be mine? I've been waiting for my turn for all this round. Oh, yeah. Lord. Oh, no. <laughs> But it has been an interesting tourney. I'm it, excited to indeed, see Indeed, it sounds like an interesting one. I cannot wait to get into this top eight, y'all, as we're kind of waiting to round up some players, I suppose, yeah. and get our act together. I can hear, I hear Noah calling for the names. I want to give a quick shout out, out to um, a couple of our sponsors here today. So for example, Kansas KO. Partners of ours, friends of ours, Awardo has been crushing it on the streams behind us right now, mm -hmm. taking all of my feedback, good and bad, I'm sorry. Doing I'm a stressed. great job. He is. Check out their event, Wichita State University, June 8th. Mm -hmm. And while you're at it, on the internet, check out Bad Moon LLC for some new drip. Oh, you got I the got drip the, green. I He's wearing drip. it. I He's literally it. in it. And uh, I mean, sponsors some of the players here, like Volteon, sponsored yep. by Bad Moon. Yeah, and well, you know, in a world where sponsors exist, Gaming Diasporas is looking to make a little bit of a comeback. Evil Buho's nonprofit organization. He's trying to, he's taking donations right now, so if you want to support the local scene, we're going to use this money to support players, support events. Mm -hmm. And, you know, speaking of events, check out Texas Showdown. You can sign up on the late registration all the way through April 7th. So, check on those out. I mean, it's good to support events like uh, Kansas KO and Texas Showdown. Yes. A lot of their Winter players Showdown. are the ones that do come out here. Mm -hmm. And it's good to foster, you know, the, the yeah, community. Yeah, yeah. With you have to have that cross-state line relationship. Mm -hmm. Exactly. As it were. 
So and then I think we're getting started here. I can see uh, somebody sitting down over there. Somebody oh, is. Oh, Hatsu. Hatsu is the other player in uh, top eight, I believe. Devin and Hatsu? Devin and Hatsu. Uh, yes, you know, it is. They beat Mink to get top eight. Mm -hmm. Mink actually beat Redeemer mm -hmm. and Mitsubachi. And he, he was this close. This close. So it's going to be Hatsu, I think, mm -hmm. coming in on the loser side. Right. And I want to say that's Hatsu, sure. It could be wrong. Right. And now we just need uh, Devin to pull on up here as well. Trying to identify somebody just by their back in a small graphic. <laughs> little hard. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check, oh, check, check, out out check, check it out. Check it out. Check it out. It's, it's, Dude, it's nice. Bro. You gotta feel that. <laughs> it's, no. It feels like sleep. It feels great. I've been wearing it all day. It's nice. The weather here is a little chilly, so it's been nice. That's good. Yeah, no. Dude, no, it's great. And then uh, Lee himself, one of the Bad Moon owners, came out, and he was playing today. Toast to Toad, you know. Knocked him out, though. Just know. knocking these out-of-state players. I know. No, Colorado, in terms of its Guilty Gear Strive scene, there are enough of us that grind and train really hard and have their support network and their training partners to mm -hmm. be some real killers like for these said, brackets Colin out here. just got fifth at a TNS. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, Voltion's put up multiple. Like, I think he's made top 32 quite a few times at like, huge majors. And same with Noah. So, right. like, these are really strong players, and I'm excited to see more of them. And I know a lot of them are really hungry for the win today. Uh, I know. I mean, there's a lot of storylines out here, right? Like, the past couple of the winter showdowns, I believe that we've had about three different champions. Um, if I remember right, the first one, my memory tells me it was Havoc Noah, but I can't remember if the first one was the one where we had it. Well, well the one I don't remember is whether or not Chris G attended that one. I believe Noah won that one. Yeah, I'm I think Noah sure won Noah the won first that. one, and then the second one was Chris G, mm -hmm. and then the third one was Volteon, right? And, yeah. That was sort of like the two eras of, like, the, of Colorado, right? Was oh Tavon versus Hatsu? Make sure you get that right. My opponent Henny. Are you on uni or Grant? Or just Grant? And then we're about to get into it. It is gonna be Soul versus Axel here. One of the most classic matchups you kind of have in Strive. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is a matchup we've seen many times just here, back when you were on the Soul playing against Dazzy. Oh, yeah, true. Uh, you know, I, I see you, not great memories right there. <laughs> Something like that. Uh, well, I think, I, then I think of Teddy and his Axel, and I have some more fond memories. Fond, and then you think of Bag, and you have worse memories. Oh, yes. But right now, Hatsu representing the Axel in top eight. And then, uh, is it Tav Devon or Tavon? Davon. Davon on yeah, the Yeah, she just said it, so. Someone corrected me earlier to Tavon. They're like, Green, it's not Devon. It's Tavon. Tavon. It's a D. I don't know. I was told things. I trusted people. Just shows that you can't trust everything you hear. But I'm excited to get into this. All right. Looks like they're... Yep. So you can say he, she, they. That's how I indicate that anyway. But uh, I'm excited to get into this. Indeed we are. So players are sitting down. They're sending out their tweets as if we haven't waited long enough. They're, you know, they're just checking their phones. You got to look up, check dust loop real quick. Got to get up the tweets out. I do appreciate them spreading the word of the event around. Hey, I'm about to play on stream right here. I'm about to play on stream against this nerd Axel or this nerd soul player. Mm -hmm. Watch me free him up. You know, the classics. And I see thumbs up, so I think we're going to be getting into the match here. We might have a button check real quick before the match actually starts up, but I'm getting a lot of thumbs up. The word though, talking to the players real quick, checking a few things. We should be getting started Good. promptly here. Dave on one. And here. Just kind of last couple check ins. And, uh, and we're getting started. I'm excited to see it. I hope so. I hope so. I should have started the stream 10 minutes later, is how I feel. I saw a few thumbs up, so I think we're getting there. Yeah. Button check. Button check, button check. You know, you got to choose a song. Indeed. <laughs> it's important. You got to choose a song, got to pick the right stage, got to make sure that, you know, the wind inclination is 
perfect temperature. I heard. Mm -hmm. Hatsu went with uh, Testament's theme. Solid choice, solid choice. Even. I'm a big fan of the new Elfelt theme. So that's kind of where I, my head goes right now. But we'll see. You know, the meta is developing. True. Quite true. Okay. Run up gold burst. A reply and gold I respect burst. both these players because there's so many times when you're like button checking on somebody and you run up gold burst, right? And then they block your gold burst mm -hmm. and you can't check your buttons to see if you can RC or not. But both these players just going through real quick. Look, oh my God, let's just look at that movement. Look, it's like what kind of like flawless defense Korean backdash having? Like, I, I, we, I know we can't get the camera to go down, but I bet you there's a hitbox right there. Probably with That's Hatsu. I think Hatsu plays on hitbox. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah. that looks like some hitbox shenanigans going on. I, I would imagine so. Hatsu taking a deep breath. Davon locking on in. We have our first match of Guilty Gear Strive Top 8 here at Winter Showdown. Been a long time coming. Tons of things to happen right there. A little yep. kiss to the camera. We're vibing. We're in a good mood. Making little hearts, spreading the love. Got to spread the love. Mm -hmm. But you know, time to stop spreading the love. <laughs> time for violence? Time for violence. Beautiful. I like it. Let the intros rock out. Loses round one of top eight. Winter Showdown 2024. And here we go. All right, Soul versus Axel. And now one thing I got to say is that, you know, Axel, he's a character that with that new tornado move kind of feels a lot more complete, a lot more obnoxious. Well, maybe it's obnoxious because no one likes a strong zone. I mean, I feel like this was an obnoxious matchup for Soul before, too, because like, 5H was so good. I mean, it was very, it was very dynamic. Like, you had to be very patient to get to your win condition as Soul back. I mean, look at this. You get a hit like that, the life of art starts ticking down. I really like the way that Davon as well, how she is using her clean hit stuff to get in there. Then, I'm sorry, I got go. distracted by stick running You're around. You're good, you're good. Just distracting in. Nice. But just... <laughs> <laughs> you wait until tomorrow. Yes. Uh, but that was pretty clean round from Davon right there. Seems like once she got in, she kind of just stuck on Hatsu. And Big clean, And I really like that. Recognizing that maybe Hatsu wants to press the slow button, you do that jump and just look for the J mm -hmm. with punish. You know what it was? I like that uh, Davon, she used the run cancel from the close slash for her open semi. That's what I was trying to say. And then... I, I blasting in my brain was clean hit. <laughs> so I'm correcting myself now, but let's get let's get grooving. Let's get I'm into it. I'm excited to see Hatsu setups too. Hatsu is a pretty fancy Axel player. Mm -hmm. Likes to do a lot of the bomber loops like we see like, it right now. Ooh, look at that damage. Just makes it look good. Get the Oki. Ooh. Okay, and Davon, she's trying to find the way to RPS yeah. through these, right? We saw her jump forward before. This time she tried to far slash out the 2K oh. check intercepts the raid vortex. And I, I think she tried to raid for did she try to raid vortex on her way out earlier? Yeah. Too? Uh, Maybe she did it. That part I missed. And Hatsu just kind of checked it. I mean, Rainwater is one of those scary buttons. It's one of the things where, like, if I'm in neutral oh. against dealing Fafnir with... Fafnir there, Bah. You unfortunately had an OTG, got a little oh. weird. Oh! Hello. Back to the corner. Got those IBFDs. We missed it. We got plus frames. Hatsu advances with that 2K2 dig, runs up, gets the throw. Tornado time. Tornado again. Oh, the ant here. Perfect spacing control as well. Hatsu able to smother Davon in this corner. And I mean, right now it's gonna be one hit away. I don't think it's kills. So let's see. This tornado's got some interesting Oki. Okay. So just clean. No Oki. Just press the button. Press the button. Be done. Very classic Axel stuff. Just like, oh, you did this button. Yep. I'm just gonna. I'm just Voila. Gonna, I'm just gonna hit 5L here. Have a good time. You will have a bad time. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's kind of what Axel's about. Ooh. The tornado. Yo, what? Let's go. I told you his combos were oh, sick. Oh, man. I, I get you. such mixed feelings when Hatsu plays, man. The actual combos look it's clean, gotta, but the neutral. Be, you're watching a soul player on uh -huh. the receiving end. Ooh. I am very much conflicted. This is very accurate. We get a little jump cross up here. Okay, we set up okay. something, but the three frame 5K able to we stop this it. madness. Hatsu trying to go a little too hard, but I mean, Ooh, it's working I'm out right now, Davon. Really struggling in the back here to yeah. try and find an opening. And yeah, she's trying to get the next hit, but it's going to be the overhead from Hatsu. He's in firm control right now. Run up, okay. 2K. Deflect shield just to create the space. I like that from Hatsu calling out the meaty. I mean, it's a great option for Axel to get back to the spacing you want to be in immediately. Ooh, and in the scramble, Hatsu will get thrown. Looked like a mess up on the IAD. Yeah, I'm not it sure. Yeah, like the IAD didn't come through oh. correctly. Yeah, like it went backwards somehow. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, yo, man, there was some, there was something cooking. Oh, PRC violence. You have to respect the tornado plus frames even more. Oh, okay, Hatsu, I see you. Don't jump at me. 2K to intercept the advancing normal. We go for the fuzzy, but excellent defense. Imagine oh. blocking the 50-50s and then using the flex shield. Like, oh, call it out. RC, this will be a kill. And there we go, I got what I wanted. I got what a I nice wanted. A nice little wild throw right there. Got what I needed. 6H. We start with 6H, let's oh, go. Oh, but we're getting these OTGs. Davon's not getting these hits through to get a full combo carry on Hatsu, and so that means she's unfortunately just wasting this burst meter by like no fault of her own, I think. And now it's just kind of like, even though you have Hatsu in the corner, I mean, he's there. They're already out, they're back on. And it's just kind of, if you can't convert after using that first meter, mm -hmm. it is a rough situation. All right, so Davon cornered, chip kill will do it, gets sniped in the air. It's first to three all the way through. And I want to say Hatsu's just looking really clean in the neutral. Mm -hmm. it's, it's one of those situations where it's like, you're watching Hatsu play, mm -hmm. and you're trying to see where the openings are, and then Davon tries to go through them, counter hit, counter hit. So I'm excited to see how this goes. All right. Oh. And she's taking the time. She's going back to Kara Select, trying to think about things. Yeah. I mean, it's hard because, like, it feels like, for me, in this matchup, for me. Yeah. Speaking as my own experiences with tell it. Me, tell me. Like, you just have to be so incredibly patient to get your hits to get in there. And nowadays, too, with, like, what we're seeing Hatsu pull off, mm -hmm. if Axel gets those right hits, you can die just as fast as you can kill him. Yeah, I mean, with the increased Oki that comes from, like, Tornado mm -hmm. and all the other stuff Axel has gone, like, it's... Oh! So <laughs> no, that was spicy! There we go, okay. What a 5P to check the banner revolver. We left it too much of a gap to it, it seems. Then we have the Oki situation, Tornado. Oh, just an easy whiff punish. Not really much going on, too much at the Oki, just sitting back, waiting yeah. until they press something. Punish and we it. press, and Davon, I'm not sure if she's trying to input a DP and not maybe yeah, get the motion yeah, ride, or far slash is what she's trying to achieve, right, in those situations, but with the, the plethora of plus flames, plus frame, the plethora, plethora plus plus length. Say that know, five times fast. Just creating new little tongue twisters here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Yeah, no, Hatsu in firm control. We respect it this time. Nice dash forward. I like it. Dash blocking. We jump. We hold the pressure. Gotta gotta see a lot more trying to find the next hit. Wild oh, throw. But because of the so air block. Easy. That's so unfortunate. Ah, just plus some block. Okay, DP. there we go. Nice. Corner, take the wall break. Yeah, yeah, not quite a clean hit. But still, good damage. We get a hard knockdown as well. We catch oh. him jumping. Oh, he's dead. He dead is dead. And you know Hatsu was thinking about that wild throw. <laughs> you knew that's what's happening. Right? Didn't want none of that. And he's like, now would be a perfect time for you to throw. You got the meter for it. And I think Davon's been making a lot of good decisions here. Mm -hmm. It's just when she does get her hits, they're just not translating right. into the damage that mm -hmm. she really needs. Yeah, right. And again, like because Axel now has that tornado cancel, it means he has a safe way to end these strings that could catch Davon trying to advance forward with like these attempts at dash blocking, right? Exactly. Okay. Oh Whoa, my god! Throw. Absolutely insane by Hatsu there again. And now more sense to with the zoning. And he's got the perfect read. Yeah. He knows when Davon wants to jump. She has to hold this, oh she gets caught. God. No time to burst. And, and she Hatsu will takes it. 3-0. 3-0 over Davon, and that is the end of the out-of-state representation in our Guilty Gear Strive top eight I bracket. Mean, Hatsu was looking really clean the they entire were. time. They were. The rainwaters were just hitting consistently. Mm -hmm. I feel like they had a really strong read on when Davon wanted to try and challenge or maybe go for a throw or look for anything kind of offensive because mm -hmm. there was a lot of counter-hit rainwaters in that entire set. Indeed, true. And I mean, even again, I, I kind of wonder if there was like, you know, an attempted Volcanic Viper and we weren't getting the DP input timed correctly, like exactly. buffered properly or misinputted right. Like, y you have to wonder these things because until you look at the, if you look at the replay and you can see the exact inputs, instead of what comes out, right? Exactly. Then that's where you sort of build on that interpretation of it. But And what I was told, like a lot of things, like, especially how when Voltaire was talking to me, mm -hmm. they tend to, he waits until Rainwater comes out mm -hmm. to try and take his turn versus Axel. Because you can jump it when you see it coming, and then you can just jump in on him. You're in. You're there. Or, but challenging it is just such a bad situation for you that you kind of end up in a dead. Yeah, right. 
All you end right. up looking at some bomber loops. All right. And <laughs> Yo, have you seen this? It is I so have. good. He, this man brought it to me to show me, like, the first day he had it back or something. We, we hung out, and it broke. It yeah, broke in his trying, hand. He was trying to do far slash, I was told. <laughs> he was trying to do a little far slash, and it broke. Yep, and it looks like it broke again, which is even funnier. More depressing. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, this is a big match for Toasted Toad because this is kind of what decides – if you go further, I mean, top eight at Winter Showdown is a huge win for him. I know. He, he's been, he's, his attendance has been a little sporadic, I think. What Just life that? comes up like that, and yo, he came blitzed out. You blitzed pulled out. up, and you got top eight in that, my king. My my crowned emperor. He came dressed my royalty. to win. That is so sick. That is the sickest, nastiest thing. Playing Johnny, of all characters. I'm excited to see how this set goes. Um... Have you seen much Johnny versus uh, May at all? You know what? Yeah, when Haruko and Yinja fight, and usually it goes Haruko's way. That's what I'm thinking, because I'm just curious to see, because May's 6P isn't the best. No. So it might not be the best at shutting down some options Johnny has that other characters mm -hmm. really can do. So you're kind of just stuck getting hit by uh, Beast right, right. Finders. So yeah. I'm curious to see how that goes. But I mean, Yinja no stranger here at all. This is not his first top eight, and it will not be his last. Indeed it won't be, and hopefully the same could be said for Toasty Toad. I mean, it's so hard to even get into these top eights yeah. in the first place. Tons of killers in these pools. I mean, to get here, you had to beat Pip. Like, that's insane. Yeah, the fact he beat Pip to get here is already crazy. Uh-huh. So like, the Colorado scene is just getting so strong. No, it's And it's not like Pip got worse. No. Pip has gotten better. No, he had a really good Frosty Faustings run. You know, he's been grinding and improving. He's won a monthly in December. Yeah, he's won a December. monthly. He finally broke that barrier. Yep, he broke that barrier. And now, you know, that, that has to hurt where you don't even get to top eight at the big one. Exactly. You know, so. that, that's something that might sting him for a little while. Looks like the players are dialing in. Don't think we have a button check or anything like that coming up. So we're going to assume that's the case. I see Frisky in the crowd. I see all kinds of people. I'm so glad I rented chairs. Dude, oh, the chairs are killing us. Okay, but I knew check. it. Yeah, I know a button check when I see it. I I preluded it. I knew I did. Look, it's all good. I mean, this is just what neutral this matchup looks like. You know, you just do a few jabs, chill, teabag a little. This is optimal strive gameplay. I don't know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. And here we go. So time to dial in. Time to lock in. Time to choose the stage. Choose, choose the song. Choose the side. What are you going to go with? What are we listening to? Oh, no song choice, just stage. I think I saw Roar of the Spark at the top, Kai's theme. Yinja usually likes that theme. And I hear, I can hear multiple people in the crowd shouting. Toasty. Okay. You want to root for the underdog. You want to see the guy who's having the pop-off, you know, run of his life? Go, go Yinja. <laughs> I respect it, you know, have a bit on both sides. Sure, sure. Although usually I think she roots against Yinja. It's true, but you know, yeah, you say. gotta root for him every now and then. You can't always be down. You know what? I suppose so. All right, we got the lore battle here too. <sighs> I like everybody watching the letting the intros rock out. Curious to see how this. I'm curious how the round start works out in this matchup. I think far slash from uh, Johnny is really good because it's nine frames. Well, let's Maybe. lab while we play. Oh, dolphin what? and far slash. Far slash. He's able to trade with a dolphin, toast to toad now. Having a moment here. Oh, okay. And we're already. Okay, we bait the burst. Right now, here's the question, right? For Yinja, he's been in top eights. He's gone around, he's played in the fighting games for over a decade. Toasty Toad, still relatively new out here. How do you how do you keep your composure when it's possibly your first time on a stage this big? And it's difficult because you have to keep your composure against Yinja. Oh, yeah, one, one of the most of the, infuriating. One of the most infuriating, most aggressive players you can play in the state. Mm -hmm. And now you have to keep your cool. And like, already, there we go. We're back in. Ooh, just barely dropping. No wall break. Okay. Set the card. Go for the low. Send him through the wall. We have the hard knockdown as well. Up. Yinja oh. will deflect shield. And that leads to a pickup. And you have to be so ready for the deflect shield because uh, if you don't recognize it and you press something afterwards, then you're, you're getting whiff punished. It's yep. such a bad situation. But and Toasted quickly turning it around, converting into a round. Possibly so. I mean, May is pretty gutsy. She could survive this she still. Could. I think she's dead. What? 
Don't. I don't even play this game, man. Look. <laughs> Two S. Yinja waking up. This is the one thing, right? Yinju is always someone who likes to ask the question of how real is this, right? Yeah. How real are you? Show me how real you are. And you know, Toasty Toad, it's not really someone that's on anyone's radar, right? So this underdog factor of Toasty Toad, my catch Yinju so unaware is that he wiggles a little too much. He gets a little too, but does he really have the meaties? I mean, at the end of the day, if you're testing to see if somebody's real or not, and they are, you're gonna lose. You are indeed gonna lose. Somehow that button of that 2D of Johnny's wins that situation. Yinja's gonna go ahead, YRC, he catches the back dash. Well timed burst from Toasty Toad will end that combo. Yinja jumps into it! Hard. Bruh. I have not really seen that many Johnnies. Preemptive cards like that and make the right reads, that's insane. Oh, but the anchor jump in, Yinja will get a combo. Set up the ball, empty low, good Ooh. deep. Okay, there you trade, this buy some time, Miss Viner. This is what you gotta do right now, this is your moment. Ooh. And the anchor drop! Came down to a very last minute interaction and that came here, but down right close. to the wire. I gotta say, players looking good. Toasty kind of cooking right now. Dude, he was looking real clean there earlier. Mm -hmm. And right there, uh, Matt did 2K 2D, and I think he did trade a dolphin. Mm -hmm. But Toasted FD'd him out, but then he tried a 6P to beat the dolphin. But he made the 2D whip, so he got punished himself. So I'm curious to see how the rest of the match turns out, because I think if he plays a bit cleaner, he'll he'll be good. But you never know, because mm -hmm. Ginja already has him wall broken. Positive bonus, slamming on that 5H. We're just gonna keep doing it. We know you can't do anything about it. 5H, 5H, 5H. 5H, 5H. The May experience. The May experience, How man, many it does sum it up, don't it? And around. And that last round, that last game looked pretty even, but right now looking pretty Ninja dominant. Reads, gets the command throw. Oh my God, super. Okay, we have a bar to make work with here on the hard knockdown. Yeah, we do. And now Yinji, it seems like he's getting full throttle. Might have been able to react to that deflect shield, but it's a difficult one to make for sure. Reversal Dolphin All catching out. out the dive. He's not going to kill, though. Not quite yet, but I mean, give it time. Oh, Tosi got his way out of the corner. You got to make it count now. There's no more burst. Aggressive one from Yinja. He catches a back dash. Oh, my God. If oh, he actually killed off of that. You have to be so careful. Any, any bit of damage could chip you out. Yinja's going to jump, avoiding the oh, blue RC. Oh, the BRC is so scary right there, because then you have no bar to FD to avoid the chip kill. All right, and so now we're entering in game three. Yinja up 2-0. I mean, Toasty Toad's putting up a great fight, yeah. but it kind of feels like that Yinja's experience, aside from these unusual inputs and drops that I'm seeing from him, like he's not quite as tight as I'm used to him being. Oh. Been a long weekend for us all, I guess. The guard right there from Yinja was so good. Okay, back in here, playing a bit of neutral. Toasty finally getting something going. Wild Assaults goes for the Oki, okay, play safe, trying to read that super from Yinja. Yinja doesn't bite though, playing a little bit safe himself. The overhead is gonna catch. And I think we messed up an input right yeah. there. You gotta be careful, two bars. Oh, Don't is this your card? Monster card! you don't know how to do anything other than press, Matt. Oh. Okay, there we go. Full pickup, gets the wall break as well. Does not spend the rest of the burst gauge to get a hard knockdown. We're back to round start. Ooh. Tosi loses to the Dolphin. Whiff. But now we're in control. Cross up, but nothing much to it. Gets that space back. I mean, a bit of space here is so important for Tosi. Bro, you see how long? Yeah. That, that was still a whiff punish. That's some crazy yeah. recovery. Oh, the wrong card. Oh, and that's going to kill. Okay. It's not it yet, though. We still mm -hmm. got another round. I see that Yinja, at the very least, like he's wiggling, but he's also realizing that Toasted Toast Toad is autopiloting some of like the misfiner meaty setups, right? So that means like, oh, I can just do this and I'm in range to punish it. Exactly. And there's Toasted, he's trying to mash his way through it, but not gonna happen. Just gets command for it the second he blocks. Do the wall, up Dolphin. There we go. Hopefully he can get something going with his misfire setup. Oh, that's so slick. Toasted has that unlock. No super, no burst. Good confirm. No hard knock. No. Oh, and he's pressing. There's two bars from Matt. And that trade. But he trades, so he's not dead. Now oh. he is. Now he is. The trade was so important because it he couldn't RC because of the trade. Yeah. So that could have been it, but just, you know, 6K, the classic. The classic, they which is even slower now. Yeah, they slowed it down. <laughs> You, we got no excuse now. No. Tosa and Toad shows go! up and with a little fist pump. He celebrates his top eight, which does get him a medal. I mean, he beat Pip today. He did a I lot. Know. He got further 
at a regional like this, he got top eight. That's huge for him. It absolutely I is. I to see him again. I'm hoping we get to see him again as well. Just awesome stuff. And now we're going to be jumping up into our winner's side, kind of getting a little bit more on pace with a couple of things here, my friends. Speaking of on pace, my hair. You gotta, you okay. gotta Noah said Colin, and I was like, what do you want from me? I'm trying to work back here because it's Colin. I'm Colin. 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 I'm Colin. It's a, it's a bit of a struggle. One of the things that's really rough is uh, my friend from New Mexico, mm -hmm. Bad Moon. His, he goes by Lee, and I was talking yeah, 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 to he's some here, he's here. earlier. I'm like, hey, yeah, yeah. Lee, what's up, Lee? I broke me. I couldn't do anything. I can't, I can't handle it. Two Lees, it's it's over. One of them has to change their tag. One of them has to change their tag. One of them has to leave. And Lee's name is Lee, so I don't know. Maybe maybe he wins. Maybe he wins. <laughs> you know, that's my government legal name. Yeah. The other argument, I chose my name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You chose a different one. You forsook it. Ever think about that? <laughs> You know what? You got me here. Right? We're you see that conundrum? What, what's the logic? What is what? What is it works? What, what you comes know, out of it? I, th I think the chosen name wins over the government name, so, you know. And right now we're getting to a good classic set. It's going to be Haruko versus Havoc Noah. I think Haruko is going to pull out the Bridget. Right. That's the next big question, right? Is yeah. what character? Because Harko, she plays everybody in this cast. I know she messes with Chip. We've seen that she picked up Johnny. I know she, she's dabbled in Axel. I, I fought her sole bad guy once, I want to say. Like, she she has a deep character pool. I, I have, of those characters, Johnny and Bridget, I think, are her two best. I heard a term recently called a toolbox player. Yes. And she if much there is. is any toolbox player in Colorado, it is Harko. You know, I would have said it was Teddy before, but he's in Connecticut now. Teddy, I love you. I miss you. R.I.P. Teddy. He's not dead. He's in Connecticut. He might as well <laughs> But anyways, rest in peace. You know, there's not much more to say. can't right now. But I'm excited to see this Haruko hovering over a few different characters. Mm -hmm. Hovering over Soul, hovering over Kai. Yeah, she's, I mean, she knows what Noah's going to lock in. It's going to be, you know, he's going to go with the denim color. He's gone from color seven, the purple one. Bridget, okay, I called it. I called yeah, it. yeah, no, you were right. You were spot on. I'm just glad Haruko didn't lie to me over there. Mm -hmm. Just like, oh, yeah, I'm going to go Bridget. But I'm excited. And, I mean, if things go well for Haruko, this might be the, see, be the only character we see all night. Indeed it could be. We will have to see. So, Havoc Noah, he had a slump in the third year of Strive. Mm -hmm. So, you know, season two, where, you know, Eno wasn't exactly the strongest of characters. He lost a bit of interest in the game. And, you know, he floundered a bit for that year after dominating the scene uh, for that first entire year. But he's been on a comeback recently with these new, with the new season three changes. Yep. Made Eno a far more powerful character. Eno got mad love, and he was like, oh. Oh, hello. And he, he, gave, he gave some himself. I mean, plus, plus, I believe it's plus 17 and plus six when she lands. It's a wild move. And it just lets her approach. It lets her reset Oki, but there we go. We're in the match. Harko DPing out of the corner, gets the reset, gets the Oki. There we go. And then Noah just barely able to hop out. I don't think Noah can kill right here. Just if he barely. got the corner, oh. but we catch a backdash. Haruko trying to pick something. I mean, you had the guess right. There's only yeah. one timeline where you escape that situation and somehow win that round, and that's not this one. There we go. Big hit. No big pickup, though. Noah with the mash. All right. Uh, tap dust. Early tap dusting. Okay. okay Noah has been. Go. So one thing about Noah is that he did win our Rev 2 bracket earlier today, and he said himself that, yo, I am playing, I am starting to play hot. Like, I normally have to get there, but I started hot. So I think he's in a zone, and he's feeling really good about how his day's gone, and he's coasting on that. And then we'll see if it keeps going right now, because Harko's playing a little hot right now. Mm-hmm, indeed. Gets the wall break, goes for the Oki, catches the back tap, but doesn't confirm off the 2K. And now Noah is just back in there. We get, we get the Starship. Okay. YRC, this is actually going to trade favorably oh. with that burst gauge. Yeah, exactly. Chasing the back dash. Yo, that was nasty. Gets the extension as well. Bridget, low health. Not enough to kill. No hard knockdown situation. It's not over. Any touch and the chips him out. And Haruko really got he got it rough right there because she used Wild Assault and then the YRC came out. Mm -hmm. So now there's no burst. No burst on the table at all. Haruko adjusts her glasses, gets ready. You know, it's game one. It was close. It's not over. Tag him. Blast him back. And there's that mad love just getting closer. Strokes under the moves. Here we are. Send him through the wall as well. 
Oh, hard read with the 2D from Harco. Knows that Noah's looking for that stroke. But not able to convert it, and Noah back on the... Oh, that blue RC into the overhead, but it didn't seem like Noah was ready for that to actually hit, so Harco slips away. Noah's still very favorable this round, but now you're in... Well, you were in. I mean, you got the burst. Like, yeah, here, yeah. you might have lost that round, but you got the burst. Yep, no, that's a pretty big swing for Harco, so that has ramifications that we will unfold here in this next Ooh. round. But Noah, yo, how is he winning all these interactions? Oh, but the backdash, Harco finally pays off for her. There we go. Slump? No. Oh, gonna go for... I couldn't tell. You couldn't tell? I couldn't tell if it's gonna be slump mix or we're just gonna, you know... Just take the wall. I think, you know, Harko valuing the positive that. bonus. I think I would value the positive bonus too, because look at her. Yeah, right now, another wall. Noah has to hold this one. This round's pretty much gone for him. We're gonna see the entire stage today. <laughs> Toward the stage. A little bit of noise from the Springs crew, rallying behind one of their strongest I mean, this players. Is, this is their last warrior. True. Yeah, no bigger game. bag. No bag today. Could no Chebe, no Goteki. Exactly. Empty low. Touch him. Into the wall. And then we're going to do the wall break. Yep, Fortissimo for that hardest of knockdowns. And now Harko has to guess right. Okay, safe jump. Oh! No, we try to mix. We try to mix, yeah. And Harko just said, I'm a DP. I got the meter. I can do it again. Oh, speaking of mix. YRC, blue RC. I respect that oh, burst. I don't burst. even want you to be near me. Get out. Go right? away. I mean, it's Zeno. But, oh, you got to jump in. Noah. And then the conversion. And yeah, then those new go. routes. He's up 2-0 now. Harko with a deep sigh. And I mean, I'm just going to say it. Noah's playing kind of hot. He is playing kind of hot, and that is going to lead me to talk about something that I will get to if this timeline happens. I'm not spoiling no stories here. No spoiling, no spoilers. You don't understand, y'all. I talk about the budget, I talk about the chairs I've had to rent, I talk about all this plan, and really it's the script writing I have to do. <laughs> That's what kills me. Yeah. Some people don't work on the script, though, you know? Exactly, yeah. So here we go. Finally getting some Oki. I mean, pressure in the corner here from Arco. Ah, just the immediate punish on the break. Noah being ready for this. Take him into the wall. Take him through. Hardest knocks. And man, Harko's been getting a way of doing a lot of stuff on wake up. Not really blocking much. Back dashing, going for throws. Yeah, I know. And I mean, Noah's just been playing aggressive. Yeah, he, no, it, it almost feels like Harko either is misunderstanding what Noah wants to go for, or there's this desperation of this has to work, and Noah is. Oh, I heard the stick get hit from here. Yeah, Harko I think is. Harko's upset after that. That oh, first bait. Yeah. No, yeah, Noah is on another level right now. This is this is prime Noah. This is that first year of Noah back again, a ghost of our past. Harko with her backdash habit, another slamming of the stick. Okay. Too low. Noah mix. blocks it. Two K two D. Again, Noah's ready to punish the break. That trades. Harko has another shot at life here. Overhead. Oh, the overhead, the delayed overhead, too, right there. Harko's not out of this yet. I mean, maybe now. We hold. Scary and the 5H. Noah took it. Noah took it, and he is just going to quietly fold up his stick. I feel like Harko ripped out my little plug-in up front. Did you do that, actually? I'm uh, curious. I'm not sure. I don't know if that was... No, no, I heard something. Stick. I heard something. Either I way. something. A lot of emotions are high, and you've been putting in a lot of work to this event. It's this something that I can understand and relate to a lot of people. I mean, I've had, you know, I've had to console friends of mine who are upset that they got top What's eight, top? like they didn't go deeper into it. I mean, all the people are out here, they're here to win. Mm -hmm. They're not here to get third place. They're not here to get fourth. They want first. They want first. And I, I mean, I respect it. I, I respect it, you know, yeah. and it's, it's emotional and how you handle those. Exactly. That, that, that speaks a lot, you know? Think and nothing I, inappropriate happened. That's yeah, all and I'm I felt say. like that entire set, I felt like Noah was just on the whole time. Even yeah. when Harko <laughs> took her turn back, it never felt really like Noah was in a scary position outside of maybe that first game. And I think a lot of it was just Noah realized that Harko wants to backdash, yep. to throw, and wants to do DP. Right. So we're just going to start picking options that beat those specifically. Mm -hmm. I think one thing against Eno that you have to do a lot more often is start representing just block the mm -hmm. layer one. Yep. Because if she learns that you're playing for layer two, we just swap back to layer one. Easy peasy. Precisely so. Well, we're getting our next competitors to sit down right now. I saw one of them who is another player I'm very excited to talk about because oh, this yeah. has been, if there's been an opening chapter, it's been Noah. If there has been the second act 
of the Colorado Guilty Gear Strive FGC. It has been Voltzion, someone who came in out to tournaments, and me with my med muscle memory, my fundies, my fighting game experience. Like, I, I could beat him. I could handle him pretty well. But he... And he, he took that personally. And <laughs> oh, he, he he is a grinder. He is someone who he's seeks out there his true form. His self-realization comes from his own execution, his own investment within a fighting game itself. And it all started with la a year ago, winter showdown then. And he took it. I said that he was justified, verified, sanctified. And he went on a tear. He had the entire scene under his control, much like Noah. A draconian rule on the monthly wins. It took him almost a year to drop it. Yeah. And, you know, the end of 2023, last couple of tournaments didn't go his way. Pip got a monthly win. Noah got a monthly win. Column got a monthly win, I'm pretty sure. Like, there was some chaos in there. Was y'all sort of vouch I for think it? That's one of the things is like, we're talking about Act 2, but mm -hmm. I mean, it didn't last as long, but Act 3 for a while was Column. Mm hmm. True. Column, I mean, if there are three players, I think, that are like, the kings of Colorado, it's Noah, Column, and Voltion. I can agree with that one, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, those are the usual ones that you see in there. And there's been some others that have vied in there, right? Yinja with a pop-off run, Pip gaming within a pop-off run, right? But th th there's a, at times, there's been a bit of uh, inconsistency with it. I mean, of course, Column, he's, he's gone out some pretty early. He's done some experimentations, right? Like, he wanted to make Elfelt work, but it sounds like, no, Happy Chaos is here. I want to win this event. Happy Chaos is the gunman to do it. Yep. And I mean, Col Colum was playing Happy Chaos since before we knew how busted he was. True. Colum is like an OG Happy Chaos from the very beginning. Didn't switch to Happy Chaos, played him as soon as he released. Right. Now, I don't know if we're going to a button check or if it's uh, the game itself. Don't have confirmation on that just yet. So let's wait, see. The players did fist bump. So True, that is usually an indicator. Fist bump normally means a match. I don't fist bump before button checks, but maybe they're maybe, on a different meta. Right, you know, maybe. And it looks like we're it's getting real. into it. Yep, it's, it's real. real. It looks, you know, again, it was pretty ambiguous at first, but that's just what we call being cautious, yep. scouting and it out. I like how Voldeon's playing a lot of neutral here. He already, Calm already rolled on the other side, but he's doing a lot of FD break mm -hmm. to try and get Calm to press a button to stop his approach so he can just go in, whip punish, try and win. Okay. But Calm doesn't care that he's in the corner. Back dash. immediately rolls out, and now we're here. Trying to get the jump in. Voldeon gets anti air though, by that 2K. Big hit with the 6H. Voltion could win the round off of this one because the one thing about Column, he will mash, he will backdash, he will never block. And so now Voltion gets a hard knockdown. He puts Column into the blender. 27 sets. These two have played. Voltion oh. has won 75% of them. That's oh, amazing. but Column. But Column. Back throw Column's incidents. here to win. I got fifth place at TNS. I'm here to win my win winter showdown. Mm -hmm. I'm and here to make. Voltion changed his Discord. I don't know if you see Voltion's Discord. It's yes, it's still that champion. champion. He's down to change it. Wants to make it Voltion Winner Showdown Champion 2023. Oh, and what a nasty cross up mix right there. I can't even tell what side that hit on. Right, and here we go. Calm's going to get the next hit. And then the ID back at JS from Calm working out so well. Shoots him for approaching. There's a curse on you. Woe be upon you, right? And Calm takes game one. And it looks pretty confident for Calm. I uh, know, no, he seems to be on a hot streak right now. Voltion, he's coming in on his own hot streak, right? Yep. Winning the last monthly. That had to feel good, having a really good set against yep. Havoc Noah. So we have to see how it goes. But the thing is, Happy Chaos, that's a character that Voltion just, he has a hard time with it because you make a, you make a mistake, you get hit like this, this is your punishment. And now you're just eating, like, what, three mix-ups maybe? Probably already used his burst. Probably eating about three mix-ups. Tries to backdash out, but gets punished for and dies. And there we go, right? You try to make a read. Was wrong. Loses a round. Two interactions. Yep. Two hits. Exactly. And then once you're cursed, you really, sometimes you just got to wait it out to get out. There we go. Already oh, he cursed. didn't get the side swap. He's trying Ooh. to cancel off the clone. Column. Ready, Ready for, for it. it. Yeah. Looks at that burst bait. And he catches Volteon again with the backdash. Seems like Volteon's a little fidgety up here. Exactly. Big hit. Red Wild Assault. Overhead, okay. Catches a backdash from Column. Picks up on the combo, has a bar here. This gets is big, because Column, no bullets in the gun, right? He mashes again. Like An immediate said. super to deny the burst. And like you said earlier, Column is going to press all the time. So I think what's going to happen a lot is Tap like, dust. these matches are going to be super swingy. Either yes, they Column's going to be winning, or he's going to be losing, losing horribly. It. <laughs> 
there, he's either perfecting you or he lost the match. Yeah, right? Volteon holds the pressure. Still holding on. One bullet left in the gun. Column has to figure out when to use it. He gets the low on Volte, and he'll reload with the super. Deus Ex Machina. Bang, bang, bang. All the bullets loaded in. Just gonna get some bar. Chill for a bit. Fly curse. Okay, you're chilling now. I'm in. Volteon trying to backdash out. The but throw from Column. Right. He goes for his own immediate super, denying the burst. Ba -da 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 -da. 2 0 for Column. And Volteon scratching his head, trying to think of what is he doing wrong, trying to find that energy you know, within one of my him. My favorite parts of Chaos is whenever he does a super, you can go like bang, bang, bang. Ba -da 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 -da. It's da -da -da -da. just fun. True. Every time. Every time. And Column already with another strong lead here. Volteon kind of an emotional player, so I'm wondering if being down 2 0. Kind of like shaking him up a little bit, you know? Being down in this round, this much life as well certainly isn't doing him favors. Gapless, no opportunity to really DP. The tap dust, no conversion though. Again, call him out of bullets. This is Volteon's time to strike. And another mash from Column. He's trying to just say, is this meaty? Is this real? And Volteon says, yes. It How long real. have you been thinking I've been playing? I am real. Trust me. Hold this. Hard knockdown, safe jump. A good just block actually from Column. The 2D. He was huge, but. Still just trying to backdash, and Voltaire clips him on the backdash. Another super. Both players just letting it rock immediately. Don't want to deal with any burst. Don't want to play any neutral this match. Just want to get in and smother the other Text person. the throw. 5K 2D. Column acquiesces the round. Some momentum on yeah. Volteon's side here, but, I mean, it could go away in a moment. DP finds it. Okay, His first one of the go. set. 2D whip punishes. Rather, counter hits. Oh, the bullet. He got the RNG out. shot. RNG is on my side. God wants me to win. And Volteon's thinking about that. Damn, dude, if he just oh, didn't get that. Oh, but no wall break right there. No, this is big. He looks for the DP. Volteon doesn't bite. Oh. He tried. He tried. You know that was a Rekka. You know that was definitely a Rekka. Yeah, and he, he ran forward. DP. He wanted to do run up bar slash Rekka and then mm -hmm. RC it to get some pressure. I could see it, too, where he's like preempting Column trying to swing with the normal yeah, and go exactly. for the iframes, but Column waited. So I think either is. Explainable, and the Volteon knows. Why oh, would you? Oh, doesn't kill! Why would no you? Bait. He burst bait, but Volteon is making a gamble right here. The hero burst. Volteon has the offense. Rekka, the low. He's looking for burst. Okay. Gold burst from Column. You tagged a full screen. You lost You jumped. Round. You lost it, but you got the burst, even though you used hers. And look, Volteon's already halfway there at that burst meter. Yep, so big resources here lead for him. The oh, cross-up, though. but that first hit, but can't convert really into much. He's able to jump. He's able to bait things out. He gets jailed to the ground. Backdashes the 6K. He's able to avoid a bullet. J2K oh. intercepted. What a move. But the backdash from Column. Keeps things ambiguous. I like the patience right there from Volteon. Sees RC. He chases, but no pickup. The 2S, bro. That button was inside Column. Okay. 5K 2D, the whip punish. Column's playing really clean in the neutral right here. Not also. letting Volteon get anything. Burst to punish. Burst right there. Nothing else you can do. J2K to punish. Deflect shield. He pushes him into the corner. He also YRCs. All the resources spent for Column. Another Volteon spends his back. No more resources on either side. J2K, Only the 2D. Plus frames. Oh, command throw! You backdash too soon. Yeah, Alpha Blade Alpha at the very Blade. last moment. And there we have Volteon steals back around from the jaws of defeat. Does a hero burst. He is the main character in his head right now. You have to have the you gumption have to, to go for that play in the first place. Say, no, I can win this and I will prove it. If you don't think you can win those, I don't know if you think you can win the set. Right? Yo, he cancels, but the combo drops. Fortunate, but he still makes the RNG it. bullet doesn't go up for Column this time. Volteon just a meaty jump in. Column will burst this damage. Danger okay. as well. Bur yeah, I mean, if I'm Column right now, I want to try and shut down Volteon as fast as possible. You don't want him to start feeling himself, feeling mm -hmm. hot, and then he starts popping off. That's how it happens a lot of the times. I mean, throw. I love Column, but one thing that happens to him, he's the reverse 3 0 king. True, right? Backdashing the 2S. Volteon doesn't go for the 2H follow up. Ooh. He blocked the cross of it, looked like, but Column had the throw. We catch him with a button. It's a dead Volteon here. I Set point again for Column. What Colum. happened is you do that cross up right and you normally shoot. Yeah, yeah. But Column spent no shots, so Volteon's blocking to wait for the gun. Yep. Then he just threw him. 2K works for Column. Volteon's taking some damage. Backdashing again. He's able to wait out the storm. 
Catches the back dash. Okay. Calm blocks this time. He overhead. Overhead, though. This is huge. Good damage. And the hard knockdown with Red Wild Assault. I mean, you need to make it matter here. Calm's gonna have burst back pretty soon, and he has the bar. Tap oh. us immediately at the YRC, you scumbag. And now there's a burst to call inside, and he was looking for Volteon's burst, but I don't And he tried to air throw, too. Now. He's looking for Volteon to escape that way. Volteon waits for a burst. Column keeps his cool. The empty low. Immediate this. Yeah, Column this gives kill. it. This is it. Wave. It is chip. Okay, okay. It, 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 it's also happy chaos. It's happy chaos and it's chip. It's hard to read. Hard to read, hard to write. DP I at that moment. 2S, 2H. Volteon gets a full pickup as well. You said it yourself. Colin is the king of reverse 3 O's, and I mean, Voltian has his momentum. Way. Not in a great way. Oh, the oh, bullet oh, able to intercept. Oh. Voltian took a gamble. This is the price. Bang, 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 bang. Voltian sitting on full bars and burst right now, though, so he has the resources to make this comeback. He goes oh, for the super, even though it's nerf. Special, we just do it. Oh, the blue RC, and he waits as well. He goes for a burst bait. Volteon waits until this exact moment. He catches a back dash. He whiff oh. canceling. Same side, one bullet left. Blue RC, the tap dust. And Column takes it. 3-0, reverse 3-0, no more. The players hug, Column smiling, Volteon happy. That's a good set to win. That's a great set to win That's if you're Column as well. Now you are primed to be in top three. Guaranteed for winner showdown. Volteon goes down to the loser side of the bracket where there's some sharks that I think uh, he's going to be making some fish I mean, food out there's of. There's a lot of people here where Volteon is that bracket demon. Everybody left in loser's bracket. This is your demon, Volteon. Quite true. You know, I mean, he doesn't win a lot of sets, but sometimes it's the most important ones that Column wins, right? Yeah. And I mean, that could have been a set that leads into deciding the eventual end and future of this winter yeah, showdown. I think whoever wins between Column and Noah, I mean, they're kind of in prime position, right? I, 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 and I mean, if you want to talk too about like another win right there, I'm pretty sure Noah has like an astonishing win right over. I think uh, Noah's beaten called many times. Absolutely. Okay. Well, either way, I'm excited to see all of that. But before that, we have to do some loser side stuff, which, guys, it's our top eight of Guilty Gear Strive. Please, exclamation point, Matcharino in the Twitch chat. Support the players out here. If you got some money that you're willing to donate to the prize pools, please consider doing so to support the players out here. We've put in ourselves about 100 extra dollars to the prize pool for about 40, 50 some odd people. So it's a pretty hefty prize pool. You could also contribute to that as well. You viewer at home, we'd sincerely appreciate it. If not, that's okay. I also want to take a moment to shout out some of our wonderful partners out there in this scene. Like Green, tell me about Kansas. Kansas KO. You can still register. It's happening on June 8th. Yes. And a lot of them are out here. Zawardo yep. running the stream right now. Been Crushing doing a great it. job all weekend. And if you guys can sign up. And then then if you can't sign up, go take it to Bad Moons. Immediately. Immediately go to Bad Moons. I check mean, out this stuff. This you see my face in 4K? Bad Moons gave me that 4K look, face. Look at this. The Cuphead art with the moon. It That's looks so, so good. Sick. It's so sick like Gaming Diaspora's. Francisco's back. He's trying to support the local FGC scene out here. You could donate there. He's going to use the money to sponsor players, sponsor events. Probably fund a little bit of the next winter showdown. And then Texas showdown coming up. There's not a lot of time left to register for it. I think it's still open until April 7th. Mm -hmm. So go check the uh, QR code. Check it out. Register as it's one of my favorite it. events. It's one of my favorite events to go Dude, to. It's they one of the greatest events. I have a lot of friends in Texas. Come yeah, right. Here and vice versa. You know what's messed up this year? This year? What? I'm like, hey, mom, I'm coming to Texas for a tournament. So I'll, I'll visit you. And mom goes, I'm in Colorado that week. Why? Hey, like, why? Dodging your mom, that's rough. She's bro. dodging me. You shut up. I can't believe it. Your mom's like, oh. Hey, man. Please. I mean, I, you know what? If she wants to dodge me, because I visited for my 30th or 60th last month, yeah. and um, I was a little sick, then she got sick. I'm like, oh, Ooh, damn. I'm sorry, mom. But possibly, possibly, possibly. All that was decided before that <laughs> visit. I'm holding a grudge from her making me stand in a museum for like three hours. Oof. Sick. And I'm like, can I go home? Nah, after we do family pictures. Gotta so, look at some art, you know? Look I look good in those right. photos. I was sick as hell, but I look <laughs> damn good. Look, as long as you got the good photos out of it, you can put them on the Instagram, you're good. Yo, they're my profile pic right now, man. It's goaded. Speaking of goaded, next two players up here, Haruko and Yinja. 
Another rivalry within the Colorado FGC. Normally you will find these two duking it out with one another within the top eights of any of our brackets here. And Haruko has been a player who, erring on the side of these set play heavy characters, optimizing them to be true, to be meaty, means that a filthy masher like Inja, I love you buddy, you're a barre is goaded, means that it can be hard. Now, close in set counts, 53% win rate to Haruko, right? So not Just much of a barely. difference, but she's won the last three sets they played. Yinja was able to take a set off of her in grand finals, but she won that one before. And yeah, she's been on a tear recently. This is barely heavied in her favor by recency bias, if we had to say it like that. I mean, it's a big thing. And like you said, Haruko's a very setup heavy player. And uh, a lot of those players, like once you figure out someone kind of like Yinja, it's like, okay, I'm just gonna run through, mm -hmm. do this, do that. He's gonna mash here. He's going to backdash here. I already know that. I have the setups for it. We're going to win it. Mm -hmm. And right now, Yinja, as a player, he's good at seeing that you've decided to use your setups that will beat him and just not caring and winning mm -hmm. anyways. It's it's kind of a trick. I don't know how he does it. Uh, I don't know how he does either. Well, I always described it as he has the stand power of King Crimson, where he erases the frames that your meaty mattered. And that's gone. Your meaty didn't meaty anymore, and his mash works. That's the only reasonable explanation that I have as a JoJo's Bizarre Adventure enthusiast that is the for best Yinja's way power. Put it, I've ever heard. <laughs> that's actually good. We, the, us of the Dragon Ball good. community, we thought about what's our stands. I got blessed with Anubis because I don't lose at the same thing twice. Oh, nice. It's like, nice. oh, cool. I, I learn. I evolve. I, I, I'm, I'm a thinker. Poet had, poet had. Um, I think we gave him the world because you know, who cares if you race time? I stopped you. And I saw a thumbs up there, so I think we're just going straight into it. I believe it right so. Now. Loses quarterfinal. Yep. Indeed, this looks like some nooch. Maybe. Okay, okay. It's definitely mm. some nooch. Yo, 6K. Market difference, right, between these two and how they're. Yeah. And uh, how Tosa Toad and Yinja's match with, right? A lot more scramble heavy. I mean, a little more reserve, but Yinja gets the first hit. Haruko will burst. That's the thing. Yinja just kind of respecting. Oh. Oh, we didn't believe in the hit? I think he was expecting to get the backdash in the air, and then he hit grounded, and then threw him off a little bit. 5K. OK, we convert. Into the wall we go, right? Haruko, it's some of that withiness that we were seeing her with Havoc Noah still showing up there, right? We're seeing backdashes get caught. And you gotta come, got to recover from a set, especially if it's a set that frustrated you. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it takes a bit to mentally come back from that. And you're trying to mentally come back from that, and then you're playing Ginja. Yes. OK, get some with Get some with the dolphin in the throw. Already has the wall break. And then we're just going to get a little bit of Oki here real quick. Oh, we just go for another command throw? We just do it? We don't care? She just wants to give Johnny this. kisses, man. What are you judging for? Lore. Oh, my God. <laughs> You're not wrong. Dude, I thought he was going to do it again. I was so ready for a third one. Argo didn't believe. She blocked that low. Big hit. Yinja's going to RC, oh. and that's when Argo bursts. Ninja could have committed to a bait a little bit longer. He did have a second wave of yeah. RC. I'm surprised he didn't wait Ooh. longer. Ooh. I like that throw to punish the landing. We're going to push him into the card, but Yinja says enough. We're not going to deal with this card, Oki. We don't want to live with it. Oh my god, don't jump in on me. Every button I have, and airs. And the up back Dolphin is going to catch Harkum wiggling at that moment. She's expecting another throw. Yinja's going to take this first game. I feel game. like I've been anti aired by every button May has, other than 2K and 2D. Give it time, those will get you too. Eventually, it's a matter of time. Just wait until you see the 6K anti-air. Okay, Harko finally starting to get some pressure going in here. Oh, the TK missed Finer with the overhead. Yinja will burst to prevent the wall break. Gets a side swap on the wall as well. It has some meter. Able to extend the combo, plus on block. Harko respects, but look at this. She's getting caught by these follow-up oh, lows. And I like that. I think there was a delay meaty right there working off the command throw. One thing I used to tell Yinja all the time is he's got a command throw so much more because he's really good at running this pressure. But if you don't have the threat of that command throw, people are just going to block it out. They're not going to press. Mm -hmm. You have to show the throw sometimes, and usually it's very safe to do once you get that 50% uh, tension gauge power spike. Show so then early. if you whiff it, right? But even then, doing it early in a match where like the risk is a little lower and showing like, I will throw you and when I don't have uh, coverage, double I, overhead. I, I think that's so important, showing that like, hey, I don't care that I can't make this safe. I'll go for the mix up. Because right. otherwise, I'm just going to look for it when you have bar. All right. Okay, there Arco. we go. Able to make a clutch comeback in that round, actually. Yeah. So a round for her in game two. Yinja getting the offense here. Missed times is a meaty low. If it ever was. 
Ooh, nice far slash. Dolphin called out with the far slash. There's the low as well. Yinja is doing his own bit of wiggling right now. Checks the missed finer dash cancel. And Senga, nothing really to it. They trade, which nice 6P. Just like Arco looking commanding here. Gets the card set up. What a block. Right corner, but Yinja blocking, defending, baits it. You can't anti-air me. Oh, you try to 6P. We get the red wild soul. We don't get a oh! follow-up. But that backdash of Haruko. You know she was looking for the command throw. You know she was. I thought the command throw was coming. I, I thought mean, it was happening. I got hit by that. I know. Apparently she thought it too, or backdash is a habit of hers because you saw her do the same thing against Havoc Noah, right? A high-low exactly. mix character with a sp sprinkle of throw. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that! That's I it. love that JP to check Haruko for trying to get out of the corner. There's the burst. Ninja, oh, with punish on the 5H. I mean, that's fair. You were bad. Oh, speaking of mashing. And there we go. Yinja backdashes, catches the 2D with the 5H. Yinja up 2-0 versus Haruko. Matt looking really clean here. I mean, Yinja just locked in. Haruko shaking her head. Hopefully she can come back from this. Needs to kind of recollect herself. Switches back, immediately goes to Bridget. And I respect it. I think this is what I was saying to do from the very beginning. I love that behind Ninja is just a May. Did you realize there's a May behind Ninja? I realized that Ninja is May. There's two Mays. Oh yeah, did you see there's a Yeah, yeah, Echo. Oh, yeah. May Coalition. And now Haruko, after trying two games with the Johnny, she will switch over to Bridget, as I'm sure you've mentioned. Yep. I've been distracted with the T.O. thing, just making sure that everything is going gooch. And, and that's the thing that's scary. I mean, I think we always say it whenever a character swap happens this late in the set. It's like, you haven't warmed up the Bridget now. Like, is it fully ready to play mm -hmm. the set while Yinja is coming off of a 2-0 lead? Right, and I mean, this would be a bit... This would be a nice win for Yinja. I won't say big. I'll say a nice win. You know, he's been losing to Harko a couple of times. We've had some conversations about it. So I know that he's trying to prove himself here, and it looks like the hard work's paying off. Right there, gets the wall break. Catch him right first. Away. And I think Harko's been hitting a lot of, like, heavier buttons around Star, like 5-8 mm -hmm. or walking back. But she's been getting counter hit pretty often just straight off of the round star situation. Ooh, the yo-yo reset. Once she gets on you, though, she is so scary. That's a misinput. That had to be, like, roll, and it didn't come out. She got the JK. Starship baited. The lows are blocked, though. Oh, yo, a trade that works magnificently for Yinji. He's able to escape the DP, but the 6P will interrupt the Dolphin shenanigans. There we go. And now you're in the mix. And there it is, there right? Yinji's like, yep. is this real, Haruko? Yes. Rolling her eyes. YRC, I respect. Just don't want to deal with the pressure. Oh, does the Dolphin cancel, though? With Punish, sends the yo-yo up. Oh, yeah, I mean, in this matchup, as May, you're going to be wanting to 5-H to try and fish for that. Eh, fish. The counter, yeah, exactly. But the problem is then Harko gets the 5-H's. Oh, that was nasty. Hit the low, you I still have tap dust ready. Okay, oh, the 2P starter from Harako. Good idea, check those. Bates buttons. the starship. She's been showing it, but Yinja with barely more than a punish in the far slash. Oh. Jumps oh. out. Harko aware that Yinja likes to follow up those counter hits with the overhead kiss. Exactly. So holding up back, if he combos me, well, I was comboed. If he doesn't, well, I'm out. Baiting the oh, deflect shield, however. That's huge. But why did she go the other way? We don't know. I can hear the crowd doesn't know either. Yinja jumps, gets caught. Oof. The mash from Yinja. Oh, the patience right there. Are you going to DPRC? And there it is, Yinja. Closes Eight, it out. 3 0. Yinja. Fist just pump. Fist pump for Super Earth, you know? Mm hmm. <laughs> and yeah, no. Iroko, that is the end of her Winter Showdown run, a fifth place finish. A respectable run right there, but... Harko's a great player. I wish we could have seen the Bridget the whole set. I think the Bridget was working out really well. I, I think so too, right? I think... Uh, I mean, easy for us to say, right? Again, yeah. well, this is something that Minnie and Matt and I talked about in the Grand Blue Versus. It's easy for us, lounging about, enjoying commentating, just enjoying the spectacle of it all, to have these opinions and thoughts. Not sitting there with all the pressure, with the crowd behind you, with the anxiety going through. I mean, I had a little bit of that yesterday in Dragon Ball, but Guilty Your Strive ain't my game where I'm familiar with that pressure. It's, just, it's different. It's hard. And, you know, I respect the person who believes in the choices that they make. You have to. You have to. Yeah. 
I mean, you just have to respect the counter pick. And that's why I'm always worried about swapping characters late, because I'm wondering when this player finishes, if they won, what do you think? Do you think, are you thinking, oh, I should have just played Bridget the whole time? Or are you thinking, oh, I should have just kept Johnny? I, I or, feel like you know, like, a doubt from like, right? you're not thinking about your play, you're thinking about your character choice, maybe. Right, yeah, you know, and like, where, 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 what's the ultimate undoing mistake? Is yes. it micro, is it macro, et cetera, et cetera, right? So. That is something we have to consider, but right now we're considering our next loser's quarterfinal match is going to be Volteon from Bad Moons. Shout out to our sponsor, Bad Moons. And Hatsu coming on up. Now, you know, we've talked a bit about the actual matches before. This is probably, like, one of the worst for him. Has, you got this fast speed of character. I think, I think this is the worst for him. Mm -hmm. I, I can see Has that. Hatsu ever taken a game over Volteon? I'm unsure. But we'll see right now. Once Mangaka gets back over here, we'll check those. And I think this will be a big game. I mean... Hatsu, no stranger to the chip matchups, has to play Volteon all the time here. And then Volteon, I mean, he's played bags so many times, so many sets. He has been here and won this. Oh! Okay, this is button checks. I was like, if there's a round star gold burst already, this is insane. So, we're just getting through some button checks real quick. Practicing those bombers, practicing those combos, just doing a little tornado. Having some fun. Both the players just taking a moment, mess with everything, it's important. Don't want to get on there and realize, oh, this button's wrong. And here we go. Volteon versus Hatsu. Axel versus Chip, here we go. And this matchup's interesting because I think what really decides it is how good are you as an Axel player at using your 2K? to stuff Chip's approaches, to stuff his pressure. It's really gonna matter. And like right there, Hatsu already did a 2K to see if he could stuff an approach. Oh, immediate burst as well, my lord. Yep. Hatsu. There we go, pressure already going. Gets uh, the wall fling, but the mix up doesn't go through. Rainmaker, J2K. And then here we go. Oh, what a good JP from Hatsu right there. Mm -hmm. Shut down the approach from Volteon. Just gonna go for a fuzzy, hits it, hits the bomber combo. Oh, but drops it, no wall break. Oh. You asked me a question earlier, has Hatsu ever beaten Volteon in a bracket? They've only played twice, Akazeme. Oh, this is... Noah won both, or Noah, Volte won both times. Volte won both times. I mean, when you think of top players, Noah, Volteon, they just kind of mm -hmm. They even exist in the same range. Right, yeah. And even then, I think Hatsu had a little bit of a departure from the scene as yeah. well, like trying to uh, heal some medical issues. Yeah. Red Wild still actually going to catch a combo. I mean, Hatsu now put in the corner. first round right there, and it, mm -hmm. looked, it looked pretty good. Hatsu playing pretty clean right now. Oh, the JD. JD. I think it was an Aerothor attempt. Possibly. And then just getting out, JHing your way out. Volteon not anti airing. Oh, sits there to see what Volteon will do in reaction. Maybe looking for a wire seat. Hatsu using that tornado, trying to just space Volteon out of here. I like how aggressive Hatsu's Axel is, just constantly trying to apply pressure. Okay, so Volteon finally getting something going here. Goes for the Jade, 2K, 2D. Ooh, good deflect shield from Hatsu. Doesn't get to pick up from the whiff punish, but I mean, you just need this space right here. These new tools, I mean, they help Hatsu so much. We had them for a little bit, but Right there, PRC Bomber! Hatsu gonna take game one over Volteon. And I mean, that's a huge for you if you're Axel here. Every game matters, it's not an easy matchup. And Volteon, no stranger to it either, so this is a big deal. Oh my god, Hatsu's pressure is insane. You Are you sure this isn't a rushdown character? Oh, and no JD this time. This time we got the air throw. Wire C, okay. Oh, Volteon just TPing. Uh, I wonder if that's a Reco or something. Just kind of flailing here. Maybe not ready for Hatsu's pressure. But he's got the corner now. He's got to make it count. He's going to get the wall. Oh, reset. We don't want the wall break. We just want the reset. Stay in. Kill. Goes for the throw. And it's looking good. The okay. empty low, though, on the Reco series. Turn it around. He was so down right there. Got out for one moment. Yo, man, this crowd is violent. Dude, I, love I mean, it. dude, Hatsu's playing out of their mind. I mean, ooh, Indeed. burst bait. Oh. I say that. But, he... but this is this is one of the bad habits of Hatsu. I got touch burst. Bolti knows this. He says, go ahead, give me it. 
Hatsu, you gotta be a little more cool with these hits. Oh, this is dead as hell. Well, not I, quite. I, I think Hatsu's living here, but I mean, it's still a really rough situation. Tough task, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so, yep. Volteon's been using that to try and close out a round, so a little pattern emerging here. Yo, dead ass, true tick, you just laying there on stage? Bum ass. Vibing. True tick's fine. He won Grand Blue, he deserves it. Yeah, he gets to chill now. He gets to chill. He, he earned it, he earned I, that I seat. I like, the one thing that's really been going here is like, Hatsu's pressure as mm -hmm. an Axel has been insane this whole set. I mean, yeah, I love the way that they're going around using uh, the Red Wild Assault right, going for those jump across and then going back to the same side. Kind of a knowledge check thing, it feels like, unless I'm just not aware of what the real cross up threat is. Volty, hello? I mean, it's so hard to zone out Chip, so why not just rush him down? That's fair. Yo, Volteon had the DP beta blade. He had the cancel ready for it as well. Understanding the situation and knowing what exactly he needs to do to win it. And like you said that earlier, that tornado move so crazy, getting Hatsu a bomber, but not able to fully convert in the corner. Ah, this isn't this isn't the worst. Volteon gonna get the wall break here and gonna have the meter, but Hatsu's really close to a bar themselves. So if they can block it out, but ooh, there's that person Hatsu. I can respect Hatsu it. Hatsu is a believer. Oh, oh my god! But they didn't let the throw damage go through. Hatsu believes, but maybe too nah. much. Nah! You gotta believe in yourself. That throw was so sick. History is written by the victor, and Volteon will write that chapter. But Hatsu, not out of this yet. No. Nowhere near. Alpha Blade, full pickup. Bro, hello. I've never. How does Volteon keep finding new combos? New to me, new to me. I, they're just, Chip has a million routes that he can convert into whenever he wants. It's just how it is. Interrupting the Rekka series. Making Same side, it. 6P. Volteon says, enough of that gimmick. Put it away. Oh, and the 5P, the shrunken hitbox on it, causing it to whiff. And there we go. Hot's been really liking his 5K BRC mix up. Doesn't get much out of it, but. And Volteon. The chip damage does matter. Volteon able to jump out. Big jump in hit here. 6K will okay. get deflect shielded, but Hatsu trying to control the ground as Volteon takes the air. Empty throw, RC. That's gonna be the kill. Volteon up 2-1 now, oh. is what I would say. Oh, he clunk. He didn't He didn't mean to clink right there. That was an accident. Oh, all right, all right, a little ugly, a little scrambly, but shake Volteon of his head. shaking his head. Did not mean to do that. 2-1 Volteon, Volteon up. Hatsu checking the 2K, I like it. And I mean, Hatsu bursts immediately, but I feel like if you're Hatsu, you want to save your meter for Wild Soul. I mean, whenever Hatsu has been able to Wild Soul, Hatsu's been able to, like, convert that Wild mm -hmm. Soul into mix-ups, into pressure. So I don't I don't know about the decision here. Ooh. All right, and there it is, the very fast mix-ups here from Volteon, catching Hatsu. Hatsu being able to deflect shield out, finally creating some space, running under the J2K. And Volteon gets the full pickup as well. He goes for the oh. set. Super, this is this gonna be the round. Oh wait, the guts I is kicking in. The gut. Oh, I man. knew it, I should have believed. You just gotta believe in yourself. You know, history writes the victors. Oh, God. <laughs> history writes the victors? Damn, I dude. Have victors you, with history. Damn, dude. Can't even quote me, right? It's hard. It is hard. It is hard. Life is hard. It's true. You're doing good. I mean, speaking of life being hard, Hotsy <laughs> right now just spent another burst. Take him on in. We're going to go for the shimmies. We do bait the DP. The crowd loses it. This is huge. I mean, look at that damage right there. I DP'd once. Look at me now. Kids, don't do DPs. We just we just start bomber. We're fighting. Whoa! Oh, how did he cross the gap there? Okay, you gotta hold something here. I wouldn't deflect shield. I wouldn't wire C Voltion. Oh my god! We do BRC backdash! We have options you don't know about. Reading the throw, and now Volteon's in chip range. Gotta spend that meter, just knock it chip. Oh, oh! But and you did nothing after you jumped. You sat there and 2 k him as he fell. Volteon couldn't have been expecting that. No, I mean, absolutely insane sequence right there. J2K not gonna find a mark. The jump in and gets blocked. Hatsu will relieve pressure. Try and Volteon's to gonna wait out the waves. I can't mean, escape. Right now, if you're Hatsu, you just play a little safe, get some of that first meter back. Ooh. Volteon will deny the Axel Bomber. He gets a side switch. Alpha okay. Blade. Oh, he's busting out the Alpha Blades. He wants Mix. He wants it over. He's going to catch with that Far Slash. He's going to catch again. Hard Knockdown. Oh. This could be Hatsu's tournament run. It's a scary situation. Positive bonus on deck. 
Oh! Man throw, don't try and deflect shield. Hatsu. That's it. Hatsu seeing they have a resource. Spending it immediately. Voltion makes the call. Taking it. What a great set. What great play from Hatsu. Just the whole set. Hatsu fighting out through this horrible matchup. And I mean, Hatsu made it close. It was great. I'm sad we're not going to see any more of them. And no. Voltion's going to continue on. What, what a way to come back to the FGC, too. I think Hatsu's missed out on several of the many last tournaments here. But being able to come out and play, get fifth place at Winter Showdown. And I mean, again, stacked brackets. Some crazy things have happened. And playing well against Voltion, it's so amazing to see that I the mean, players are able to train and come back even stronger. I mean, after saying, like like you said, Hatsu was missing out, and I now after seeing Hatsu's play, we were missing out. We were missing out. Beautiful way of the saying Axel it. Axel 5K BRCs are so sick. Did you see that backdash BRC he just did? Mm -hmm. I know, I know he didn't win, but my brain. Axel's a build differently, heart. man. I I don't know what it is. They they got I some didn't crazy know he was wake up games. Owner. Right? No, I mean, that's the nice thing. Like, Axel has a little bit of depth to him now. Obviously, his toolkit is very much built for zoning, but with the combo routing, you are rewarded for getting in close, too. And you got with that tornado, you're able to justify approaching. Building out that complexity of his kit has made such a huge difference. Mm. I mean, it's, it's just more fun to watch, to be honest. Like, I was hyped to watch right. Axel play. That's not, that's yeah. not normal. Yeah, for a while. You're, you're kind of right. I mean, you y'all heard me when I was going, ooh, at those sick bombos. Exactly. It's, it's. oh, you know. man. Oh, Lordy. Here we are. Oh, my God. We are now in the top four phase of the Winter Showdown bracket. Forgive the Gear Strive in Winner's Final. It's Havoc Noah who has been returning to form. He's been enjoying playing Strive. His Eno is in a very powerful spot. Well, maybe very powerful is a little, little much, but a powerful spot to say the least. And then we have Column, who came on out a couple years back uh, to AFK Con, uh, where I first really started to use the Mile High Burst uh, mantra for our scene, the community that I've been managing and running. And I, there was always so much potential in Column, right? And we were always waiting for him to finally break out because he was good, he was nasty, but you could look and point out a couple of bad Achilles heels, right? And with Noah, you're just kind of wondering like, well, could he ever do what he did again? And honestly, Noah's been threatening through, through his play to make that reign of Havoc Noah come back. He's won Rev 2 this weekend. I think he's made a deep enough run in Street Fighter 6. I'm not actually sure how far he got. And then you have him sitting here, winner's side of Guilty Gear Strive, trying to come back after, you know, two years, a two-year drought of not winning Winter Showdown, being part of the main TO crew running it and stuff like that. I mean, I've already got my medal yeah. as a TO here. Noah, he can get more than me. Let's go, Katon, defeat the TOs. Don't let them win. Don't let them win. Don't let them win. It's all a money laundering scheme. If we, if they win, the prize money is theirs. But I like, like you were saying, I mean, Column was that third king. He was set up to have that reign. Yeah. But it kind of fell short. He ended up not winning as much. He, he floundered a little bit with his character, went to Elfeld for a bit, didn't see as much success, and now he's back on the happy chaos. And if I'm Colum, I'm like, my reign was not over. My reign didn't even get to begin. Exactly. I will not be a prince murdered on the eve of his crowning. And here we go. And Starting off violently. Into it. JP immediately to hit. The clone no, intercepting, that's insane. Has Noah hit a button yet? I mean, he's pressed buttons. He's damaged column. I don't know if he's pressed buttons or he's just held forward and got hit when he did. Well, you know, oh. on the clone interaction, he came down with JK. Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right. And then there's these buttons and these strokes. And, oh, <laughs> yo, that was a sick way oh, to navigate the that. the wait for the 2S. The little shimmy. I'm going to sit there, wait for you to do something. First, column does not want to let this round go. He's got Noah cornered. The throw at the very end. Nasty. Nice reset. First blood over for Column, but we'll see if Noah's able to answer back. Ooh. Oh, Lord. I knew you were going in the air, and now I know you're going on the ground. 2D round start. He's able to get the close slash to pick up on that aerial hit. Immaculate. Four bullets in the gun, and now going to get the setup here. Noah backdashing. Column has just been right every time. Sometimes you're right. A lot of times. We were talking about how Noah was playing hot earlier. Column right there. I mean, I can feel the heat. And it's cooking. <laughs> and it is cooking. Noah's going to take a moment. Probably the first bit of momentum that I mean, he's I lost. I mean, I want to think about what happened right there, because that was, there was no momentum to be gained that set at all. All right. 
6P, my lord, column dialed in. Already back in this situation, knocking Noah into the corner. He's gonna catch Noah on the back dash. Noah refusing to really block anything. I've been talking about, you know, Column having a back dash habit, looking at Harko's incidents, right? But Noah is also not wanting to block this set. Doesn't want to hold it. Something's gotta change. Oh, we do fancy Oh, so you stuff. block that. You block that. You block that. Okay, okay, okay. Noah could win the round off of this. Maybe not. It's a rough situation though, because yeah, yeah, yeah. chip damage. You get the burst, that's a, that's a win. Yep. You, now you gotta make a count. They trade. Deflect shield, and now the stroke the big tree is gonna get Noah started here. Now this is the thing, right? We talked a bit before how Calm can perfect you or he can lose dramatically. And if Noah gets this momentum, look at this. Choosing the routes to keep yep. the meter because I want to be able to convert with it. Like this. Ooh. And what did Calm not do? That's right, class block. Oh! oh! It doesn't matter, I don't need the block in this game. I paid $60 to hit buttons. He didn't even pay 60. He bought the DLC so he could hit some more. That is the thing about Happy Chaos. He vindicates Column checking <laughs> and mashing because his reward is so strangely overdone. Noah, Noah won that, but they were so hyped with how he hit that JS. It was so sick. All right. Okay. Noah trying Chill. to wait out the bullets. Weathering the storm. Is chaos. You can you can zone out Eno if you really want to. But Noah does. Ah, oh, the classic column. Noah had a reflex, and Column loves to burst bait. Backdash caught again. What a burst bait from Column. He's insane. He will always look for those bursts. If he hits you that counter hit, the first thing on this buttons tap is that RC button. Okay, good wire C. Doesn't get caught. Shimmies, don't you press super against me. Block, hold my pressure. But he drops oh, his combo. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. He's out of concentration. Six oh, P. Matter. Am I wrong? Not oh. yet. Not oh, yet. Up two zero against Havoc Noah, looking clean. And Noah's gonna Noah's go back going to, to character select. Okay, we gotta go look up Dust Loop. Happy Chaos nerves. What happened? <laughs> How to fight? Dear Arxis, <laughs> please what nerf. the hell? I thought you nerfed this character. He's still good. That's the thing. He's still good. Arc System has this thing where if you have a character that is very technical, where they're very hard to pick up, but if you can master them, they like that to be strong because they want you and your time that you invested to be rewarded. And they've done some critical nerfs to it, but still, that character is still very, very powerful. And the thing is, like, I don't even think, like, Colin hasn't been really mixing up Noah that hard. His mix has gotten blocked. He's really just running up and spiking. Another burst bait, brother. And burst baiting the hell out of him. That's He's been eating one. these. Eating these. Knock him back. And now Colin here with the heavy round start. Sees all oh, the buttons. The button. That's insane. Tap dust. Tap your lights out. Slumped. Oh, doesn't care. He's going to go for super. Nah, I think he's got a kill. No, no. no, no, no. Not dead yet. Real close, though. Pixel off. Blue RC. We just sit there with the gun. We don't do anything. We wait. We wait. Cold, man. That's just cold. I can kill you whenever I want. Isn't that Spend crazy? your meter FD. I'm going to watch. <laughs> I'm going to watch. I like, I like watching. I like seeing people's meter go down. <laughs> That's right. Spend that fear. <laughs> fear defense more like, am I right? He's like, I know you're scared. I'm just going to watch. Column is immaculate right now. He's torn through and Volteon, torn through Noah. These are players where he does not have the best win rate against it, but something about the last bit of preparation he's done for this event, it's taken him to this level. Having Noah. Oh, the BRC. Oh, you can see Noah, Noah's having a pause. Already, already hitting select. Yeah, he was hitting pause. Right he was trying to hold. There, trying to get out of there. And oh, wow, look at his eyes. Out of his mind. Noah, just wide eyed like, what happened? What? I was so hot. Happy but now I'm so cold. And Colum is now, out of all the kings here, sitting in grand finals on winner's side. Someone has to get up to him and go to him, and that, yeah. that means a lot. You gotta win. You gotta reset Colum's happy chaos. Have a good time. Have fun. Well, there's gonna be some happy, all right, and it's all in Chaos's hands. Exactly. That's all I gotta I mean, say about that. That's. I, I feel like Colorado players are very fittingly Colorado players. The state, it's hot, then it's cold, then it's hot, and then it's cold. We're the bipolar. players, they're hot, then they're cold, they're hot, then they're cold. So I don't know, Noah can come back and just be hot, and now Colm's cold. And we'll have to see indeed, right? But we're gonna go into our loser semifinal match next. The players should be getting established real quick. It seems like we're 
getting ready to start right now. Yeah, well, we'll get that queued up. People are bothering my stream runner. Voltion already sitting down. We're already getting in here. It's going to be Voltion versus, I believe, Yinja right now. Winner of this will go on to face Havoc Noah, I believe. So I'm excited to see how this goes. I mean, this is a classic. Oh, it's been a long tournament. And honestly, if you were to ask me before the tourney started, what was top four going to look like, I would have told you it's going to look like this. It's going to look like Voltion, Yinja, Noah, and Column. Yinja, the dark horse right now of the tournament, this is a big deal for him. He's lost many a set to Voltion. If he can turn this around, it would be huge. I mean, he made the game look a lot closer. It was 3-1, but a lot of the games were really close for Matt. And he was able to take out Haruka, someone who he's lost the past three games to. So it's going to be huge, because he's lost the past few and then some more to Voltion. So this is, this is his moment to kind of take it back, and to take it back at Winter Showdown, a tournament like this, that would be huge. But the players getting here, getting ready, chatting, having a good time. You can see their friends. They have played together all the time, chatting, hugs. I mean, no one's going to be happy about losing right here, but at least they're happy about playing each other. Whew. Then I think Mangaka getting some stuff sorted out right now, getting ready to start this tournament up. Players going in to button check. And we're going to be heading in pretty soon. I can hear Matt laughing from here, talking to Voltion. Spirits are high. This is how it is. It's what we want. <sighs> and I think we have a button check. Oh, no. This looks like a real, maybe, button check, button check, button check. You know, when, when Look, if you see Yinja mashing 5P, you can't tell if it's a button check or a real game. And they're going back to character select, and we're about to get in there. Thumbs up from the players. We're good to go. And right now, this is going to be a big set. I mean, if Voltion loses here, it'd be insane. If he wins here, I mean, it's already insane. He got sent to loser so early. I do think he was the... Him and Volt Noah are the favorites to win, both on loser's side. One of them will be going home tonight. We'll see if it's uh, Voltion currently. Gonna take a moment, let the intros rock out here. And then here we go. Okay, immediate dolphin from the edge of there. Just already trying to get space, backdashing a lot. And then... Gotcha, gotcha. Hopefully you can hear me a little bit better there. And there we go. Voltion already getting the wall break. Mix up incoming. Is he going to fake for throw? Is he going to just do something real? Oh, real stuff. Overhead. And I think that's going to be the round right there. Strong start for Voltion. Yinja didn't really get to play the game that much that round, but that's gonna kind of how it looks. Either Voltion's gonna smother Yinja or Yinja's gonna hit him once, burst bait him, and then maybe kill him. Scary situation. Can't, unfortunately, two eyed Wild Salt can't uh, get that heavy knockdown, so has to play a bit of Oki, but he's got the positive bonus. He can just dolphin into RC. And there we go. Voltion going to take his own wall break here. And now it's looking pretty even. Burst on deck for Yinja, though. Oh, there's the throw option. Fake it, not meeting you. Going to do a throw. YRC, good. But Voltion sitting on so much meter doesn't burst bait, though. Oh, we all thought he was about to do something fake. You thought he was about to RC. I wonder if Yinja was brave enough to try and air throw him right there but just clips him in the air and Voltion's up game one. And I mean, in that set, I mean, it looked pretty good for Yinja for a while there. It's just, unfortunately, Voltion was too high for him to get the hard, like the hard knockdown from the Wild Assault. And then they had to play neutral for a bit longer. 
and Yinja ended up prevailing. Not what? Boltyon ended up prevailing. Maybe I can commentate some strive now that I'm done being a tech. You're good. You're good. Game uh, one went to Volteon. Volte. Ooh. Uh, yeah, it, was, it was it was back and forth, but pretty favored Volteon, I want to say. All right. So and there we go. Ooh. A lot of story between these two as well, just going back to, yeah. again, Volteon being one of the new ones of the scene, Yinja being a player with, you know, over a decade of experience playing fighting games. Volteon, through his own study, through his own grit, was able to kind of eclipse that gap in between there, right? And Volteon, you know, he learned the best lesson that Yinja gives is keep it meaty, keep it real, dude. And you know, keep it meaty, keep it real, that's so That's good. why. Whoa. That's why. But he's not going to be able to kill him here. Just... Just a little close, and now Volt's gonna have that bar. Any hit, he can convert into a mix-up or a kill. It's gonna be a kill. There we go. Another round of Volt. Ninja keeps getting really close. He gets to that last little slither of Volteon's health, and then he just can't close it out. I like the defense, but Ninja a little hesitant right now. Oh, okay, Volteon tried to jump there. Trying to jump again, but Ninja, he's getting these hits, but he's not able to make the most out of them again. 6P gets Ooh. completely intercepted. That's why they gave May that move. Trying to add depth to her character, right? But the crouch at the last moment catching. Into the wall we go. Oh! Okay, 5P to save the day. And they're still good. Still but good. he... Oh! All right. Those JPs from Yinja. You don't have hard knockdown. We're playing neutral. I'm hitting you. And here we go. Ooh. Man, that makes up so cursed. That cross up JS. It has always just been so evil because you can't really read it. And the deflect shield actually going to completely eliminate Volteon's chance in a mix, but he gets the air to air. Ninja with the wake up dolphin. The classic Ninja wake up dolphin. I do like this, like, fakes from Yinja right there, but by showing it too much, playing a little defensive, I mean, he's been giving Volteon space to see if he's going to DP, mm -hmm. see if he's going to 6P. At a certain point, you have to commit on your offense, otherwise Volteon will play patient, and then he'll just kill you for it. Deal a Roman cancel. Again, another hit that Yinja's not able to convert. But Volteon gets with punish. Not much after that. I mean, he does have a bar here, so any hit. Nice, but Chase. Chase. Go back onto the ground, and it's looking pretty clean for Volteon so far. Yinja getting these hits, but just not being able to finish his food. Ooh. 5P check. Volteon, he's finding a bit of that heat again. There we go. DP, perfect timing. And it's going to be the super as well. Car canceling. And the second Yinja starts to try and take more pressure, it's like, I've been being patient, then on DP. Then he gets hit. And that's just kind of how it goes sometimes. These players have played a long time, so both of them have a good read on each other, but Volteon might just have the better read. Oh, the Oh, play. yep, yep. Yinja with the panic burst. That round was gone. He wanted to be a hero. He will die tragically. And, and you have to know a player well enough to know they want to be the hero right now. Mm hmm. Well, even then, too, like, some of that is, like, counter hit, you know, RC option select. A lot of people, that big counter hit notification, it triggers, like, this primal instinct of, oh, shoot, big damage coming. No, 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 hit no. Hit button. Hit the burst. I mean, and so people learn to bait it with that RC. Exactly. Ninja fighting his way out of the corner, finally. Hopefully he gets in the end. Tries to go for Dolphin. Volteon immediately realizes it's fake and just runs in. Oh, here we go again. Gets out, but... Volteon just checks him with the 5P. Good deflect shield. And he's going to catch right here. Maze gutsy enough to survive this, but the mix up afterwards is what I'm doubtful of. And then, oh! Whoa! Even meaty. Back throw incident. And Volteon, he gets caught jumping. Yo, he could die. Never mind. It won't kill yet. Oh! Especially when you drop like that. That might have been the whole set right there. Deflect shield to deal with the high low. The shuriken gets punched off. Oh, 6P into Alpha Blade, and Volteon takes it over Yinja. 3-0. Now Volteon's going to be staying there, I believe. Yep. He's got to play Havoc Noah next. Oh, my God. And the <laughs> winner of this has to play Column. That's loser's final. That's insane to me, dude. Dude, Column, Column sitting pretty right now. I mean. Very pretty. Volteon's going to go stretch his legs real quick. Yinja, smiling, he got fourth place. A very deep tournament run for him, sticking it with uh, May. He's been playing her ever since day one. He's been able to, you know, that's another medal for him too. In fact, he got fourth in Dragon Ball. He got fourth here in Guilty Gear Strive. 
I gotta see what other fourth place medals he's been accumulating. You know something we haven't talked about yet either? Mm -hmm. Who sent Multihon to losers? Column. Uh-huh. And who, who sent, sent Noah to losers? We have a true we have a true top three in the brewing. Right now. Where very much so that one of these players having been felled by Column, they're going to get third place by losing to second place and first place. Mm -hmm. So that is a true third place finish to me when you lose to that first and second spot. It's a, it's a proper third place, yeah. It's a proper third place, and I, I, second place will be proper too because second place is going to get double jeopardy by whoever's first. No real questions to be asked about who won and why. Right. And Nothing I crazy, mean, nothing sporadic, but this is... This is the culmination of the two different eras of Guilty Gear Strive. Oh, happening in Loser's Final! This is painting the stage for potentially a new era of Guilty Gear Strive in Colorado. The era of Column being on top. But the first event is the key. It's the one, you know, it's it's the starting point, but you have to continue on that momentum. So time will tell on that one. But right now, looking at ahead of this event, seeing that grand finals we had at the last monthly that we had, it looked like these two titans of the Guilty Gear Strive Colorado history were about to throw down here at Winter Showdown. And they are, but it's for it's for freaking third, dude. I mean, he knocked down both the Kings, but the question is, can he keep them down? You will find that when you back an animal into a corner, the beast comes out. And, <laughs> and both like, of these two are primed. I mean, they're both playing good. They both just won it. I mean, Voltion just won that set over Yinja. It's got to give you some time to heat up. And I feel bad for Noah because he's coming off of the, the set with Column, which was not great for him at all. No, it wasn't. It was brutal. It wasn't really good for either of them. I think Voltion got a game, yeah. but Noah got 3-0. Yeah, and I think uh, Voltion at the last monthly, he took it over Noah in a reset. So this yep. is going to be... He was able to dig thing. deep, right? That was the thing. That was like the first glimpse of like, there's that there's that season two Voltion, that king of the Colorado scene for Guilty Gear. Strive. I have to say that because we have plus R out here. We got Rift 2 out here. Strive. I just, I just, just, I just really like the tagline Kings of Colorado. Kings of Colorado. That's just it. That's all. <laughs> well, the reason I'm saying yo, it. shout out to the Kings of Colorado, that organization that actually exactly. founded this event. Exactly. If I'm saying this all the time, am I actually like infringing on copyright? I'm the one saying it. No, I mean, I was describing it too. These Kings of yeah. Colorado. I did add Guilty Gear. Yeah, yeah. All right. I don't think we are. <laughs> I think it should be fine. We're in America. It's good. We're an America band. All right. And are they starting immediately? They it are. No, like this is very much yep. immediate. It was a slow start. I mean, a lot of tension on the line, right? You don't really want to make too hasty of a play. Yep. Volteon blocking. He tries to intercept. Noah will get the combo right now. Bad Moon's Volteon up against Havoc Noah. Who oh! declares free Palestine. Man, early on. All right. Megalovania. Da -da 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 -da. I kind of crossed my tunes there. You're good. Wreck on wake up. That was a beta blade that heavily worked out. The backdash. Oh, and you know what I like? I've been seeing a lot this whole like tournament is mm -hmm. anti air jump jab. Yep. Or jump jab is challenge buttons. It's something I'm seeing from everybody today, and yep. it's such a good option. Indeed, it is. We're in a cast. Right there. Beautiful. Like, right as I'm saying it. Sukiyaki. Uh, ooh, misses the meaty right there. Blocks the overhead, though. Volteon's defense. He's been practicing this matchup for. Many years. I mean, this is the guy he's had to beat to get to the point that he's known. It's the exact same thing for Noah. I mean, this is the guy he's had to beat to take his crown back. I know, and Chip has always been a character interesting enough for Noah where he's had that historical struggle with him. The very first tournament, he lost to Burst Burglar's Chip. Yeah. Then there was Yuan P's Chip. That was like the second loss, I believe. Chip has always been a thorn in Yinja's side. Looking for a wiggle. The shimmy. That was clean. All right. Who's taking game one? I mean, both rounds have been looked really good. Mad Love is such a messed up special. Look at all she the pressure, but the JP. Oh, Mad Love JP. 5P. There was a punch. There was a punch. It was fast. It came out quick. It hit the Another air. Another one. one. DJ Khaled. Yo, the falling JK, though. Going to find it. Ooh, I love that little shimmy back on the far slash to catch Noah. Right. Trying to press. Conditioner applied. No conversion into Rekka series. I'm surprised that Volteon didn't full send it. Could have had a round there, I think. Noah, a little sloppy in the pickup there, but here we go. Full pickup on counter hit. He's looking for that DP. I mean, after all, Volteon's got all the meter. They trade. 6P. Not love. Hold Got it. The There's the overhead. Noah. Doesn't get a kill. Oh. Actually, no, the red wild is almost secure it. 
never mind, shut me up immediately. Noah, Noah. posturing like he lost that round, you know, leaning back in his seat, folding his arms, sweating. He's upset he won. He didn't win good <laughs> enough. He had to win harder. He had to win harder. It's like that. Another 5P, and he's from uh, Multi Hunter, making a huge difference. But the burst from Noah doesn't want to hold anything. 2K, 2D. In the corner. 5P, 2K. And the 2D frame trap is going to catch Noah. It's going to go through the wall with the hard knockdown. Karabucha no jutsu. And the thing is, these players have played each other so many times. Mm -hmm. You're going to see a lot of the second or third layer of their pressure. I mean, we already saw Noah doing delay JD earlier. Mm -hmm. Voltion blocking it because he's ready for it. So both players just going to be playing on another level. And that is what I am so excited to see tonight. Pulling up a little bit of data Ooh. on them. Do not use this new move. You got it. It sucks. Don't use it. I will jab it every time. So you know what's still crazy is just that from that first couple, like a year, year and a half of Strive where Noah ruled, his win rate against Volteon is still 66%. That's crazy. It is crazy. Oh, but Volteon's going to catch right here. Curious to see what it, Noah's win rate is last year. But I mean, it's looking good for Volteon right now on this round right here. Stroke for Noah. He can make anything happen. It's Eno. There we go, JSJD, hover back. Actually, so it looks like the data from February hasn't been updated to the website yet, because that's the one that Volteon won, and that was with the uh, double reset. So a couple of de de games missing there. It stops at January. Beta oh, Blade, catch. No more wild salt. Your turn was over, sir. Stop trying to take it. Yo, back and forth between these two, and I, I got to say, based on how their first encounters with you-know-who, uh, I'm wondering if we're heading towards a very anticlimactic finish. That all the passion, all the energy, all the excitement, it's in this set right here. I mean, you know. No, Volteon took it, didn't he? Omar tripping. Volteon did take the last. Yeah, it's 1 1. 1 1 on the one, score. 1 1 on the score. And. We'll fix that in a second. We're already getting on here, and Volteon not doing a, able to kind of stop Noah's movement currently. A lot of those 5Ps were working out for him earlier, but so far, he's just kind of holding a lot of stuff. Trying to look for an open, gets the 5P. 2D's gonna catch Noah trying to jump. And I feel like that 5P has really been the defining move of Volteon's gameplay throughout the set. Mm -hmm. Stopping Mad Love, catching him trying to hover dash. Ooh. I like the patience right here. It's very clean stuff. Wall break, hard knockdown. No one's got to block no, the next mix. No damage on Chip's side. And the Alpha Blade American cross up. Alpha Blade. Zoom, zoom. Block this. Okay, round start stroke from Noah, trying to get something going. Jump oh. in JD. Noah will burst immediately. And now he gets his own counter hit. Full conversion. Voltion uses to hold this damage. Oh, but the combo drops. That's so huge. Backdash will get caught. Beta Blade relieves the pressure. 2H on whiff, baby. Okay. Opting, he had more meter than yeah, Bar. Exactly. It makes sense, it makes sense. Use, use the Wild Assault, save the meter for Mix. Mix, the game-winning conversion. Oh! God, that was nasty. Don't use Deflect Shield. And Noah goes back. Go back. Noah back. goes back. I don't want to Noah look. goes back. Such a villain move. Doesn't even let the game count get right. Every now and then, I'm like trying to hype Noah up as a hero, and then he just does some villain stuff. No, he's an absolute villain. I'm like, villain. what do I do? No, no, he's an absolute villain. Like, you know, like him being a leader, it's more about like an anarchy, like not anarchy, shoot. A monarchy? Monarchy, sure. He's the reason we use the word king. <laughs> I get you, I understand. We are not, him, we though. are not living in a democracy here. It's whoever's at the top is the king. Right, you know, the players laugh about it. They're able, you know, I have a chuckle about it. Volteon now here. Up a game. We're going to be blocking. There, look at that. You saw that he went down for an instant yeah. and went back up. That's so good. He he knows the layer one. He's ready for it. He has practiced the fuzzy block. You say that. Misses it there. And that's why you're going to see like delay JS, delay JD. Mm -hmm. And what happens is when Noah has to do delay stuff, 5P becomes so Exactly. Strong. You have to know how to defend against Eno, mashing, blocking, in order to create those opportunities. Force her to do extra stuff to mix you up, and then you can just take her out. Oh, we got a whiff punish with the 5H. There's going to be another wall break right here. 
hit the 2K, walk back to lay 5H. Voltion. Red Wild still keep the pressure. Tap, tap, tap. YRC, get off of me, 5P. Stop trying to hover. Your turn is never. I have a jab. And Voltion here, sitting at set point. Does Noah have it in him, or does the run end here? Stroke the big tree, goes below. 2P this time? He does, he's just there. Voltion's dialing in. Hits Who the knows? Clone. Noah's still in it. Nice. Throws the J2K. This is big. Oh, oh he got this reset. Another one. Grabs Noah, him again. Noah pumping his fist in the air over there, shouting, oh, himself, as he hits this. Oh, oh my god! Shit. Brother in Christ! I got mixed up. Sibling I don't know about Buddha. you. Yo, you know what? High low not working. Let's play some strike throw. My cousin in Abraham. Here we go. Get him with a the throw. Oh, there we go. It's, it's still a scary situation here. Dude, what a jump. Be Noah's blocked. ready for the command throw. Noah's ready for that jump out. He's going to get a short combo here. Rekka, that had to be a DP. That's gone completely that correct. Voltian will take it. Oh, but he had the specials inverse. That's so stupid. I'm sorry, Voltian. Back dash is oh, the throw. Not again, you greedy person. But he can't get the punish because he back dash. Text oh, the throw no, on the red wall assault. This and is it. Voltia has to stabilize. Noah's not he can't stabilize. it yet. He had the red Roman cancel. Where was it? Back dash. He oh! That is it. He completes the combo. What a great set. Voltia takes it. Noah fighting back with everything he has. That throw was insane. But Voltion just takes it out, and now we're going to have Voltion versus Colin. And the dry spell of Winter Showdown for Havoc Noah now extends. Yep. To oh. no, and now, two years? Now two years. we have the def defending champion mm -hmm. coming back from a loser's side to retake his crown. <laughs> and you know the Discord profile is going to be Winter Showdown X2. If he gets it. And you know he wants it. He, I know he does, and that's the thing. Voltion, he's been able to focus on his play. He's been able to grind, and this means a lot to him. And going down to losers, he's digging into that clutch factor. That's something that has marked his reign. It hasn't been flawless. Like, Noah dominated. Like, you could barely touch him. Yep. He had a couple falters here and there. And a few here and there from Voltion. Yeah, Voltion, he had a scrap for so many of those wins, but he still did it. Like... It was so violent, so competitive for Voltion to maintain his I mean, lead. As he came up, so did a lot of other players. I mean, yeah. he he started beating Noah. Then uh, I think Colin Matt, was entering the scene. Pip Matt, was starting to enter yeah, the scene. Matt took wins off Noah. Uh, freaking Haruko started taking games off Noah, and it was this huge thing where a lot of players were moving past this barrier, mm -hmm. but none of them could meet the new barrier that was Voltion. And he wasn't the only one that crossed that line, but he was the only one they got to the finish line. And now here we are. I am so Column excited. sitting. But he won Akazemi. This is the Akazemi defending champion. I was going to say Column. he wasn't the only one, but speaking yeah, yeah. of people speaking that did cross that finish line. Column as well. Column claiming that one. He won, I think it was, was it both the LCQ and the, the finals themselves, or am I tripping? I, I feel like it was both. Maybe I'm wrong. I have to look again. I, Actually, I can look. I'm going to pull it up right now. I, I'm going to get accuracy. I'm going to get data. I'm going to guess, and I'm going to say he did. I'm pretty sure. I think That's he was a two-time Peter. I think he was a two-time repeater. I know he yep. won the finals. We made, we designed the uh, LFL hip box. Yeah. Uh, the snack box from Junk Food Custom Arcades, who we were formerly sponsored with. They're going on a little break from the local scene stuff, so when they're back in swing of that, I think I got a conversation to have there. But Akazemi Grand Finals. No, okay, yeah, he, yeah it wasn't the LCQ. Okay. okay. No, no, he, so he didn't win the LCQ, but he won the proper finals bracket, the end of that league itself. And so now, he's coming up here, taking his seat as the defending winner showdown champion, Voltion, and the reigning Akazemi champion, Kalum, are going to sit next to each other and decide who gets to hold this first place medal, who gets to be that winner. Is it a monopoly for Voltion, the sole winner showdown champion, two years running, or does Kalum begin to establish his oligarchy? <laughs> Spreading through, controlling all the regionals in Colorado. We're not a monarchy anymore. It's an oligarchy. Oligarchy. <laughs> I love that. But, uh, you know, at the cook, end of the cook. day, what it really is is a meritocracy. 
The best is at the top. The best and we're is about at to the see top. who's the best. I, I love that you remember that system of government that it's always been a thing. It's, it's always been a thing. It is indeed meritocracy. Fighting games in general are one of the best examples of a pseudo meritocracy. Just indeed. in general. Okay. I mean, being a good player makes a huge difference. You'll get in a lot of out venues. You want it otherwise. You know? And it's a, it's a huge deal. It is indeed a huge deal. And I mean, both of these people are great players. Voltion is great. Column is great. They are both nasty players. And I mean, right now, this tournament means a lot to both of them. I mean, you saw those fuzzies from Voltion. Voltion practicing against Eno to fuzzy against Noah. So he's ready for it. And it showed his defense was immaculate. It was indeed there. It was indeed there. And then Column. We didn't really see much of his defense because he just won. What defense? <laughs> his defense is to mash and then do 60%, carry you across the screen and wall break. I don't know, man. I think his defense is fuzzy jump, JSBRC. Straight fighter six kind of popping off right now next to them all. Oh, they're popping off all the time. Oh, I yeah, think I that's one of my favorite parts about Colorado. The scenes are just loud, all of them. Mm -hmm. It's just one of those things. It's so nice to come together right this, you know, and I, I can't be happier with how, on the big picture things, so much has really worked, how the planning, the preparation has delivered. What I hope is the new best experience. I think we did really good at Winter Showdown, but we didn't have this expanded venue. Y'all can see that wall, that wall of monitors. We didn't have that last year. Where, where this crowd is sitting, that's, that's where our wall ended. And now we have all that new space, all this along it, and here we are to bookmark the end of Guilty Gear Strive for Winter Showdown this year. Grand Finals, Bad Moon's Volteon on the loser's side, defending champion up against Colum, reigning champion of Akazeme, who was all about the chaos, skipping the rest of the BAM intro. Let's get in here. Volteon already starting off, pushing Colum all the way into the corner through just running at him, really. Yeah, a blade meaty, Colum will burst. Space. It's and crazy. I, go ahead. You know, it's crazy, these are like even life bars. See? Yeah, exactly, I mean, the thing is like, this first game is going to define bro, bro. a lot of the rest of the set. So oh my god, Column! Three throws! Three! We're playing strike throw, sir. And I will throw you. You need sometimes, to start teching. Sometimes we're playing throw throw. So this isn't Grand Blue, you have to do the throw input uh, to tech. I, I want to let you know, Guilty Gear Strive players do not know how to tech. They know how to fuzzy jump, back dash, <laughs> and and They man. don't know how to tech. Teching is a foreign idea. I mean, it's such a risk to take it. Well, the overheads, but the low is going to catch Column at the ankles. Voltion again with this offense, but all it takes is Column to take that one moment, and then it could be all over. Backdash? No, backdash instead of DP on the jump in. Yep. Think about that. Three bullets in the gun. Just already kind of like playing patient. I think one thing that was getting Voltion killed a lot in their first set was the backdashes. So I'm curious to see, at near the end, he swapped to DPing, so maybe Colin's thinking about the DPs. Right, right? and I mean, you're not thinking about DP. This guy threw you three times back to back to back. Exactly. It's time to backdash. It's time to tech. 5P, check. Voltion will give up the round. Yo. Not Voltion. Voltion will claim the round. Colin gives it up. Did you know that Chip had a gun? It's called 5P. <laughs> and then, here we go. Going in, Colin already getting a decent, not a lead, I thought. Oh, nice. A new interaction there, right? Using that red wild stuff to cross the gap. I just think of old K chaos. Oh, I see somebody there. get shot, and I'm like, oh, wall break coming. Right, Voltion going for that 5K meaty, right? Not enough active frames to catch that back dash out of the iframe. So, Column now is able to get the situation. Should get a wall break from it, too. And, da, 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 da. and now you have to hold this mix up, but Voltion has uh, sitting on almost two bars. I know, right? And, and you first. see Column's approach. I'm a zone. And listen, I'm not trying to interact. Ooh. 5K. This time it works as a meaty. Clones, we burst now. Vol Colum wants this game, and he gets it. He Volte on slips. Shot. He twitches. Oh, and we hear <laughs> the crowd. He got shot! Guys are doing rooting for Colum. Try Calamity Teal. 5P to check the J2K. Why are you sick like that? Why do you drop like that? Backdash, but Double he chases. Double backdash, that's so scary. I know, Volteon is hard committing these things, but Column is like, I know you're scared, so I'm chasing you. I mean, did I, you see how he treated Noah? He smells the fear. 
he's living off of a sneaky up here right there, backing up a little bit to avoid the DP. Mm -hmm. Right? No, Column is just trying to m mitigate every risk that he can take possible in this set. Again, Voltion with these meaty 5Ks. Oh, oh, messes oh up the setup. okay. But the low, Voltion wiggles. I can mess up whatever setup I want because there's another one coming. Effectively so, right? Five JP, I did what you did. <laughs> it's hard. Five JP, five P, they're, you know, they're similar. Right? Voltion now, he's busting out the more active buttons, right? I want to see him do that more. We've been seeing that his meaty 5Ks, they've been with me because Column is not breaking that backdash habit. And I think Voltion is forgetting that this kid's always going to do it. Exactly. And I just want to see a bit more... Oh, 2K like, there? Too far to get the pressure. Strict meaties from Voltion just to blow up the 2Ks and the backdash. Play specifically for those options, because, I mean, that's what's going to be happening. All right, we get the offense going. The gun comes through. One backdash for Volti. Here comes the PRC. Ooh. Oh, no conversion. And he waited all that whole time. That whole time he waited. He wanted that burst bait. He knew. He felt it. Voltion head down, thinking. I mean, 2 0 -oh for Column. Column shaking his head. He's bobbing. Feeling He's feeling himself. it. A deep breath in there. He's like, one more, one more, one more. He's in the zone. Voltion trying to find his. But it's hard. I'm not going to fool you. It's not easy. And already looking for the burst right there. Peeking for it. Wants it so badly. Voltion's just going to jump. Get on the other side of the clone. A well timed DP alleviates pressure. 2D. Voltion's getting these hits, but really it's just the follow through, right? That's what matters. He needs to get this follow through. All of his offense has not gone great recently. He hasn't been able to convert any of these hits into meaningful pressure. Backdash. We're backdashing still. We're still backdashing. Tap us. Close the round. There we go. We're on the board. You'll know that column, I think, of various players tonight. He might be one of the few that hasn't hero bursted in this top eight. Yeah. He knows he's the villain. <laughs> You know what my favorite thing to see is? Villain bursts when you have the life lead, but you burst anyway. Uh, true, right? And we'll I like see. The tick oh, row. The throw. Huge the pick shot. up here. I mean, that's a scary situation. He's going to get the Deus Ex Machina to reload the gun. Volteon in a hard knockdown situation. I imagine Column is going to throw a curse. Just chill. Just pay patient. Not even safe. throwing a curse. He's just going to fire away immediately. Voltion tries to catch, he gets shot. Just this is it, tournament point. Up into shoot, tournament point. Column's gotta play. Voltion has to clutch up right now. There have been no repeat Whoa! kings. Oh, the first bait. There has been no one in Guilty Gear Strive. It was one winner showdown consecutively, or even repeated it. And that trend looks to continue on as Column just the pressure here. Empty and bullets, he reloads. Dead, still alive. This would be the Miracle oh, no. Ball comeback. That is it, Column! Your winner showdown, 2024 champion. 3-0 clean. There was no doubt. I beat Voltion. I beat Noah. Number one. And there he is, quietly celebrating a hug with Pelham. He is yet to let out any sort of victory cry. I know that the emotions are there, but he is not that person who no. is explosive with his expressions. Yeah, he has the biggest grin. He has this biggest grin of, I did it. I That's, did it, and it wasn't that close. That smile is the smile of a happy chaos player. Even when Call of Bluesers, he's just like, he's having a great time. There's something pure about the fact that this, this adorable little munchkin of a young man that we have in Colorado is one of the most disgusting, vile, Evil player. Evil player that He's you will ever person. find out here. Not because he plays Happy Chaos. It's what he does with Happy Chaos. But I am so happy to see him get that success and to have that victory. It is dope. It is cool. It is awesome. This man works as a TSA agent. He loves watching you squirt. He He's know. a That's monster. Cool. That, that is a monster. <laughs> you didn't know the secret lore? I did not know the lore. That is actually high. The secret lore? You go to a major, you have to go past call. Mm -hmm. Always. Right. And I mean, it's been a great tournament. Even with all of that, Calm played out of his mind. No, I mean, there's times when you look at a player and you just kind of go like, he's the one. And that was very much Column tonight. And you know, congratulations, he is now the oligarch of the Colorado FGC, Akazeme champion, reigning winner showdown champion. Two crowns, he holds them both. But for how long? Because as we have seen in the history of Guilty Gear Strive in Colorado, 
all kings fall, all reigns come to an end. So Colum, enjoy the view from the throne because everybody underneath you, everybody who has been fighting for that throne, they are now after you. Hold that crown, hold that weight. The sword over Damocles is the controller over Colum. And my friends, that concludes Guilty Gear Strive. We're going to get Street Fighter VI Stay Top 8 right here after this. So Top be eight. there for the final of Winter Showdown Street Fighter VI. I'm Mangaka. I'm Green. Thank you. It's too late. You cut. It's too late.